I have to fix this and I have to turn on the music down because it's too loud right now. Welcome to the stream, oh my god! Okay, cool. Hyped up? Yes, I am. A lot of cameras set up today, so I changed my main angle using a webcam right now. So that you guys will see the build better, you'll see in a second. Welcome, oh my god, I, I, I keep like hearing myself. Welcome, welcome, welcome you, oh my goodness, what a stream today guys, what a stream. Hype, hype, hype in the chat. There we go. I got, I got the button on the screen now. Cool, welcome London Bridge Bricks, Kevin, uh, Riddle, Coffee Con, Coffee Con Lego, Gabriel, as always, Kevin. C. O'Connor, Callum, uh, Brick Star Wars Boy, Orman, how do you stupid? You guys are keep coming back. Dr. Greeny, welcome. Um, everybody, yeah, a lot of cool people. Nice. White Elephant, welcome. MNR Productions sent me here. White Elephant, welcome. Yes, I did I did appear on the um, Bricks and Bits uh, episode today. We, that, that's something I mentioned last week. We recorded that last Wednesday and I, I appeared today. So it was pretty nice to be on MNR. I think it was a good conversation. I really liked it. Um, Discord link, I will be uh, sh uh, sharing Discord link, but I, I don't think I'm gonna be having guests tonight. We'll see how it goes. I just want to focus on the build for now. I'm so stoked! Oh my goodness, like, why are you guys, why are you guys even... Ah, ha, ha, ha. Look at that! This thing arrived today. And, uh, unfortunately, LEGO, LEGO kind of um, damaged the box. But not a biggie, not a biggie. Um, I'm so stoked to have this set today. Uh, thanks, Arman. Oh, you were not subscribed to me? What? What? Arman, come on, you've been in every stream so far, like, why are you not subscribed? Alright, guys, we are building the Barak. I, st I mean, starting to build the Barracuda Bay today. Um, so this is the thing, yes, I've been waiting for this set, it was a bit delayed, because LEGO sent it like a few days ago, and then FedEx delayed it by a day, I was supposed to get it on Friday, and I hoped to stream on Saturday, um, but it, it arrived like late Saturday, actually, and, uh, well, today is the day. Cool! Saw you on Bricks and Bits today and love it. Thank you guys. Yeah, it was a really fun episode. Check it out on MNR Productions channel. Uh, Ryan did a conversation with me. Of course, there was uh, Just Too Good and um, Brickitect on that um, podcast as well. It was a really nice conversation. I really enjoyed it. Uh, we, we touched some very good points on my um, departure from Brick Vault. And if you want to see like a, a bit of a de in depth discussion about this, uh, go to his channel, subscribe, of course, and check it out. Recenzie Pana Szczupaka, what do you think about the creator ship? Możesz po polsku coś odpowiedzieć? Uh, what do I think? I, I think it's a great ship with brick build sails. I can't wait for it. It's gonna be a great set. Wspaniały zestaw. Uh, fajne są te żagle z klocków zbudowane i pewnie za, za tą cenę będzie bardzo warte uwagi. That was a Polish question. Cool, guys. All right. Sweet Arino. Thank you so much for joining today. So le let, me, let me show you what I have for you in this stream, like, check it out, like, see, see, see this shot, it's, it's a terrible shot, I know, I know, but wait, wait, shut I actually have a top-down camera now, and then we're also gonna have sort of a, let me just show you, I think I, it, it, it's working, is it working, we're gonna have a third camera, mind blown, I know, I spent like a day setting this up, but I, I do have some extra spare cams I found in my old closet, but we're gonna have three cameras today for this and for the remainder of the streams. I hope so, it's gonna stay for now. New lights, studio updates. That's cool, by the way, my, my forehead is really shiny. I'm sorry, it's really hot in here, it's California, we're really having a heat wave. Okay, thank you guys so much for joining. Ben, Stuver, welcome. Um, Sir Bricks. Um, man, can I, try, I would like to really talk to you with, with you once. Okay, we're gonna try to do Discord later on during the stream. Okay, I wanna open this sort. It's gonna take a few minutes to sort. Actually, it's it's a bit of a you know of a, of a build. It's 2,545 pieces. Oh my goodness! I keep saying this. Oh my goodness! I don't know. I like the phrase lately. Okay, we need to make space. Uh, actually, on the table. Let's let's see. That's a cool shot, huh? I really like this shot. I'm using my fanciest lens for this one, my fanciest 25mm 1.7 Lumix to, for you to have a really crisp experience with this set. Ah, the satisfaction. The satisfaction of opening a brand new massive set is like unprecedented, unmatched. Of course the boxes are inside, check it out. There we go and oh my goodness gracious. I keep saying, I'm not sure, I think some YouTuber is using this phrase a lot and I just caught it. It's like an infectious phrase, oh my goodness gracious. 
Who says that so many times? Okay, I'm gonna put the box on the side so there we have more space on the table. I have very small table for such a massive set, guys. So hopefully it won't be um, too much of a, of a burden for big sets. I don't think I've built a big set like this on this channel yet. So we should be, we should be just fine. Coolio, okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna start sorting the bags and, and try to like pay attention to the chat as well as always. Um, oh my goodness. Yeah, I think it's very neutral in terms of religious terms, right? I don't wanna be religious on this stream. You can't see anything? What do you mean you can't see anything? Oh, okay. Now you should be able to see stuff. Okay, uh, there was a little... Do you guys see it? Tell me in the chat. You see the camera now? Because I, I think it was the setting was wrong. You see now? The screen is black. Try, okay, l try again. I think it should be good now. Sh is good? Okay, yeah, sorry, it was it was like disabled in my streaming software, but I, I was I was able to see it. Um, okay, the second camera is black. I got you. Should be not, should be good now. Good? There we go. Yes, sorry guys, it was a little it's a it's a it's a different setup because right now I, I've been using one camera and now it's three cameras back again. So I, I've been messing up with some streaming um, with you know with I was basically messing with, 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 with um, the camera, so I didn't click one thing. Okay, there we go. Yes, now I see it in the stream. Perfect. Sorry, guys, about that. I hope it's good now. Let me see if the other camera is working. Is this working? I think it should be working, too. Okay. Yeah, it's like for minifigures. Cool. Okay, I think we're good. Looks great. Thank you, guys. I'm sorry, I, I just I forgot to unclick one option. That's it. I forgot to unclick one option. You, le you learn something every day. Hey. You learn something every day. Howdy! Embrix, welcome. Um, thank you, guys. Okay, fixed. Fixed. Perfect. Okay. Oh, my God. That's only like half of the bags. Um, so we got uh, ship elements, obviously. Uh, actually, I'm going to put them on the floor right now. We're going to try to sort the stuff um, per, per numbers. Um, yeah, the masts. All the big elements are in a, in a bag like this. There we go. Okay, back. Let's see. Do we have bag number one in this in this wave of bags? I don't think so. Okay, let me just sort this real quick. So this is bag number six. I'm just gonna start putting them on the floor. There's so many bags in this one. Number six again. It will be a massive build. A massive build, I would say. Okay, 15. Okay, I gotta open the other the other thingy to get myself familiar with what I have here. 13, that's 6, 14, 10, 11. I think some bags are really small, like number 10 is like only two tiny bags. There we go. This is gonna be, today, I'm, by the way, today I'm streaming, oh, it still says like Stormtrooper. What didn't anybody tell me? It still says Stormtrooper at the top. Oh, I keep I keep forgetting to fix that. <laughs> okay, we gotta fix that that scrolling title at the top. Okay, let's see. So it's gonna be Lego Ideas uh, 2020 Pirates of Barracuda Bay. I mean, I mean, you guys know what this set is, but I'm gonna have people joining, and we'll see. Uh, Pirates of Barracuda Bay 21322. It has 2,545 pieces. And goes for $200. Um, so I, I like to have this information on screen because people keep asking this. Oh, what is this? What, what is this set? Like, there it is. It's on the screen. I can just say it. Okay, fixed now. See? So those things above my head are actually accurate. Cool. Yeah, it's an amazing set. Uh, I, I would say contender for a set of the year. Many people say that. Definitely set of the year material. I was about to tell you. Okay, too late. <laughs> seven. I don't need seven right now. Too late, my friend. I figured it out uh, before. Uh, bag eight. Oh my god. Okay, we're gonna open that massive hunka chunka box. 
to check the chat. Oh, you just said, I'm sorry, white elephant. The chat, I, I know, I've, I'm focusing on, on um, opening the, the, the boxes and sorting the bricks. I do really pay attention to all the messages. Thank you. Appreciate ya. Check the chat. I believe you. I believe you. I'm gonna trust you and I believe you. Oh my god. Like, this is, you know, every time this happens... Oh. I was like, where's the manual? But those are the sales. So you can see those are the sales. Beautiful comeback to a cloth sales. Nice. 501st battle pack is the set of the year. Okay. To each their own, I would say. <laughs> I mean, I, I do like the 501st battle pack. It's, it's, I think... Okay, maybe it's not the set of the year. I believe it is the surprise of the year. How about that? Um, I think it's the surprise of the year, the unveiling of the year, if you will. Okay, I don't need that right now. Okay, we found bag number one. So I would say we have about 20 to 30 bags. I don't want to count them right now. It's a lot. Of course, I'm going to tell that in the review, probably how many bags we have. But for now, I think most of them end up uh, on the ground anyway. Five... There's like a big pile of... I, I wish I had a fourth camera here because there's a massive pile of stuff building up um, next to my to my chair. Okay, we're gonna keep actually bag number two on the table so we can have quick access to it after we finish bag number one. But yeah, today we're going for about three hours, by the way. I start at 2 p.m. We're gonna be going for about until like 5 p.m. California. So I hope you guys are okay with that. I'm gonna be splitting that set in multiple streams, of course. So there is no way I can build it like in one go, especially when it's like so hot in California and I'm sweating already in my studio. Oh my god. Phaser Clash, welcome. Managed to catch the stream, could make the last couple ones. Hey, no, no problem. This is like a, you know, it's a weekend stream. So a lot of people are actually joining because I'm finally streaming at a normal time. There you go. I've ordered two sets from the early 2010 decade from Amazon. Nice. Again, if I miss anybody in the chat or do anything like I, you want me to answer, like if you want anything I, I, for me to answer, just repeat the question so I will be able to actually catch all the messages because you guys are very active and I sometimes skip stuff. Okay. Super stoked to stream this today, actually. Super stoked to stream this. Okay, gotta move the box. Gotta keep those plastics in one place so it's gonna be easier to clean after. Look at that hefty manual. Oh my goodness gracious. Every time I say this, like, please, like, do something funny in the chat. Every time I say this, goodness gracious. Okay. Whoa. I, see, that, that shot is so cool. You can actually witness the manual with me. Let's do it together. I, I can't read upside down, so I'm sorry. Okay, so there's a story time. Really cool, like, uh, storyboard with comics. Really nice. Okay, let's see. Plunder New Lands with Pablo R. Pablo Sanchez. That's the designer of the set. <laughs> really cool, like, mug shot as well. Check it out. Really cool mug shot. Arr. Shiver my timbers. Uh, what? Cafe Con Lego, thank you for a 199 sticker. Cool. I, I wish uh, people could see the sticker on the screen, but they can't. Thank you for the super chat, appreciate it. Thanks for the support. <laughs> I like those stickers. Like, if you don't know what to say in the message, that stickers are just a great, great idea. Thank you for the amazing sticker. Um, sometimes I use them too, yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you for a $2 donation. Okay, all right. who was the um, Mary Milne? Model designer at the Lego Group in Denmark. And then there is Austin. Uh, William Carlson, who is the USA-based um, minifigure designer, so he designed the minifigs for this set. A lot of, lot of good lore. Like I love these manuals because they show so much. You can see some drawings of the minifigures in the set. Captain Redbird, really cool. Oh, they, they should have like made like a little um, maybe lore about each of the characters, but there's just Captain Redbird and the crew. Nice. You guys can see it. Yeah. Okay, and that's about it. So we're doing, um, yeah, bag number one basically starts the island. Boom, boom, boom. Actually, with bag number three, you start the ship, which is cool. Bag number five gets you the mask. Oh boy. 
this, uh, like, each bag is like a chunk of the island, it just comes together at the end. Sweet, okay. Let's, let us begin. Ryszard Bogulewski, thanks for subbing, welcome. <laughs> cool, okay. Very cool. Her, me mateys. Her. I am in love in the sector. War of like a girl room, I would say. Her. War of like a girl room. Plundering the... Plundering the... What do you say? The islands of the Caribbean. Together with my mateys, sir. I wanted to have like a cap. Uh, with... With like a pirate, of course, the pirate cap with the skull on it, and uh, like a, like a eye patch for the stream, but I couldn't find it. Hey, street donated P PLN ten. Oh, that's a Polish donation. Dzięki za 10 złotych. PLN is a Polish currency. Uh, it's about two and a half dollars, I think, right now. Thank you so much for the ten do ten złoty PLN donation. Um, dzięki wielkie za dotację. Bardzo mi miło. Dzięki za wsparcie. Polish viewer. There you go. Jeff, welcome! Hi LEGO Creator, how you doing? NilaTube, welcome! Could you please vlog yourself doing Christopher Reeve's diet and workout for Superman? Dude, I'm a skinny guy. I, I don't think I have a Christopher or, or just like a Superman body. I'm sorry. <laughs> Plus, I like burgers too much. I don't think I could go like full like bodybuilder diet. I don't think that's possible for me. Unless, un unless they, they eat a lot of burgers, that is. Thanks, guys, for the support. Dzięki za tą dotację z Polski, bardzo miło. I think those are all the bags number ones, I hope. Because there were a lot of them. I wonder if we may need those... Uh... I'm just gonna keep the, the unnumbered bags just here, just in case, because uh, I, I think I may need those very soon. Because there are like a few unnumbered bags, like you see. Dual Face Productions, thanks for subbing. Appreciate it. Walk the plan, yes, curvy, see dollar. <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh, R is the favorite pirate hero. No, you would think it's the C. That, that is a joke I think I made in one of the videos. That was funny. That is true. I think uh, the C is the favorite C, so I need that one. Is the favorite pirate letter the C? Get it? <laughs> Funny. The C is the favorite. Okay. I hope the stream will work just fine today. There is a lot of equipment and a lot of cables. I, I, maybe I should take a picture of that setup, guys, because like it's crazy. Maybe I'm gonna take a picture for my Instagram later. Alrighty, me mateys. Oh my goodness, I, I should take some time to actually sort like people joining like, did he begin already? No, 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 not me, Eddie. Mike, can you please send, oh yes, okay, I, I forgot, okay, so this is exclusive to my stream viewers, I do have a Discord, so I will invite you to set Discord, uh, those links expire every day, so on, if you're watching the stream, you can you can catch me, me, me Discord, my Discord. Um, but I don't think I'm gonna be starting with any guests today yet. I wanna just build some stuff. Hey, Brirka Blocks and Bricks, thanks for subbing. I think people are joining from the MNR video to my channel. So thank you for discovering me. <laughs> Appreciate it. Okay, so this is my Discord. You can join, but I'm, I'm, I won't be, uh, I think, doing any guests right now. I just wanna start with the build for now. Uh, but you guys can be in the chat, of course, but I read the chat a lot. 40 plus people, oh, that's amazing, thank you. Yeah, we actually have 43 people watching. I think that's the highest I had in quite a few times. Okay. Oh, there's one more bag here, there we go. Did I miss a bag or something? Because I can't find his head, honestly. I cannot find his head. Hey, Maciek Wyślewski, dzięki za subskrypcję. Polski widz, I gotta find his head, guys, unless he rolled off somewhere. Maybe we're gonna find it later, that's fine. I gotta make some space to actually 
start building the island. And I, I now see like this camera might be just too small for it, which is funny. Okay, his head is here somewhere, unless there is like one more bug number one. That I can't find right now. Okay, his head's gonna turn up soon, I hope. Minifigure without head. The headless pirate. Marvel or DC? Marvel all the way. I do like DC, but Marvel all the way. Where's his head, honestly? Like, we're gonna find it later on. Okay, and he has a musket. How is my family? They're doing just fine, man. Both kids at home, of course. We're safe and healthy and we're good. My wife is actually said, like, hey, you wanna stream today? I can take over the kids. I was like, thank you. Nice. Everything about this set is great. I truly agree. This set is the contender for the set of the year for me. It's amazing. It's absolutely stunning of, a, of an achievement from LEGO. Brickfrog, welcome. There might be many viewers this time since it's not that late in Europe. Yeah, Ben, I try to like stream early today so at least people can join before it gets really late. Uh, I love the vids, can't wait to see the outcome. Thanks, Brickfrog. Yeah. It's gonna be, uh, yeah, of course I'm gonna review this set, but I, I believe like this review will take me like several days to finish, honestly. It's such a big set. I watched um, Jang's video on this set and I think he made it in like 35 minutes. Um, but yeah, he really took the time to go into all the details. That's why I love his reviews, but I like to go into the details as well, but holy moly, that's gonna take like a day to film. And then to edit, it's gonna be crazy. Ah, oh, the old pirate flag, there we go. Arr. Gotta go. Thanks, Kappa Bricks, for joining, even for a second. I appreciate it. Thanks for joining. Why is there like a like a cutlass in front of the of the boat? That's kind of weird. Let, let's try let's try the fancy fig camera. Does it work? Okay, I gotta. It, it keeps turning off because it's like a it's like a side camera. So it keeps turning off. There we go. See, so there's a. That's a cool shot, actually. There's a cutlass in front. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Yeah. And the pirate flag, the pirate flag has, has a comeback. Really good stuff. Nice. What theme do you miss? I miss Black Tron, honestly, and Classic Space. I keep saying that they should have a return of Classic Neo Space. That would be amazing. Okay, and just two like row paddies, got it. Rowing paddles. They don't actually attach to anything, so just like a like a little shore boat. Okay, starting the actual build. And I think it's the central part of the island that we begin with. Nice, so I don't need that for now. Cool. Very nice. Loving the new camera angles. Thank you. I'm trying my, you know, always improving, always doing something new for my viewers. You guys are lovely. Lovely viewers. So I'm trying to make sure you have a, a good experience here in the in the chat, in the stream. I'm going to lower the music just a tad, so I hope it doesn't overwhelm you guys. Just a little bit. I think it's not too much. I'm trying to keep my levels. Should be good. I think music should be heard, but should not overwhelm the stream. That's my guess on it. Okay. Starting with the island. So I do like the, um, the Caribbean blue, I would say. The light blue color for the water. People said that you should be getting... That, like, uh, that uh, um, a deep blue would work better for the ocean. But if you think about it, it is some sort of a Caribbean island somewhere in the middle of nowhere so it's better off with I think a type of um, like azure waters right for like beautiful paradise type water I think that's a better choice I think that is honestly a better choice I feel like apologies I keep forgetting I should sort the bricks just a bit okay okay and we need a second one okay gonna move the bricks just slightly so that you guys see more okay the monkey kid sets are amazing oh they are I wish I was able to, I would be able to cover them in the last night stream uh, on the news but I you know I was afraid they're like still leaks some people are, are still like have their videos up so I'm not sure 
if if those are leaks or no leaks, but some people some people had their videos taken down. Mars mission, power miners, castle, and bionicle. Yeah. Do you like Brick Queen? Um, I don't really watch her honestly. Like, I I haven't. I know she's still in the game and making videos. I don't really watch her. Uh, I watched her some back in my Brick Vault days, but. Um, Honestly, I wasn't very much enjoying her content for some reason. Like, I don't know. There was something that wasn't really me keeping me um, entertained. I, I was vouch vouching for her, and I think I commented on a few videos that, hey, great stuff, like... Uh, but I always felt that... She, she had some good videos, but I felt that... Um, like, over so many years of making videos, she wasn't really improving uh, that much. So I was like, hmm, I don't know, I think if you're in the YouTube community and you're making videos for many, many years, I think you should improve your quality of production, like, from time to time, at least try new things. I didn't feel, feel that with her channel. I, I wish her the best, but I hope she's, I hope she's, she's doing more videos now. I, I saw some videos from her, and I think she's doing better and better, so that's, that's cool. Yeah, but wasn't, like, really uh, a fan that much, honestly. Okay. Monkey Kid is it's a new theme. Discord A, hey, uh, no, I'm, I'm not, I'm not, um, for now I'm focusing on the build. No, sorry. Maybe we're gonna add some guests later, but not for now. Okay, this is a lot of flowers and stuff. I love the flowers, it's like a friend set at this point. I think this goes here. Two sides of here, okay, cool. Mike, did you see Ash and Flash videos for all DC and Marvel sets for Summer 2020? Yeah, I saw them popping up in my feed. Uh, as you guys know, I did a short, a very short live stream. That's the first bag, by the way. Um, Brick Buds. I just started. Um, I saw them popping up in my uh, subscription feed, but... Um, yesterday I did like a really short... Um, news stream. I actually tried to make a news stream where I covered all these sets that I was aware of up to that time yesterday and I think like a few hours later people were popping with um, like Marvel DC all the new stuff so I didn't cover that I think I'm gonna make another video once I once these sets like receive actually high quality images because a lot of these images were like coming from like some websites that had some low resolution images um, shops that actually start to line up those sets in their catalogs uh, so I, I'm gonna wait for like actual high-res lego pictures to come back to that i think i don't want to show the blurry ones once again like really it's the first bag yeah i just started just 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 begun the journey just began the journey oh my god starts so great like i see how big it's gonna be do i like the new star wars hilt i did not see that honestly not sure what you're talking about. MNR did a brick buster on brick win. Yeah, I, 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 I'm familiar with this video. I'm familiar with this. I did not fully agree with it. Like, honestly, I thought that was unnecessary for both of them to actually kind of get onto each other. Uh, but I, yeah, I don't want to really comment on that. I just wasn't very much agree, agreeing with that video, honestly. MNR is, you know, is a, is a, is a cool guy and all. Uh, I, I actually like him. Um, but I don't think that video was really necessary, honestly. But yeah, I, I just politely disagree. I, I don't, you know, don't start any dramas or anything. I just politely disagree with people. That's all, that's all it is. We can still be like, you know, friends or, or colleagues by, by design, <laughs> by, by being in the Lego community. We can just, we can, as always, we can disagree with each other and that's, that's about it, right? No need to like make a, a drama out of it. I did very much enjoy being on his podcast, so that was pretty fun actually. And it was a great conversation, I would say. I'm a friendly guy, I don't want to start like, uh, you know, dramas with people. Especially people who I like actually. Mm. 64 by 32 stats, holy guacamole, it's not gonna even fit on this table, like how... I think I'm gonna have to move the camera to the ceiling or something, that, that build camera you guys are seeing. It's kinda insane. <laughs> kind of insane. Okay. 
I think this camera should have even a wider angle so you guys can see the manual when I build. I think that's gonna be a good idea. Maybe for next stream I'm gonna adjust things here and there. I'm like, I have the junk bricks mindset. I always adjust things between videos. <laughs> I try to new, I try new things all the time. How, how am I going to display this set? That is a question that remains unanswered. That is a question I try to avoid. I have no idea. Actually, yesterday, just yesterday, as my, me and my wife were just chilling, watching a movie, and the Barracuda Bay was by my door because it, I, the, the courier dropped it off, and I, I, it was waiting by my apartment door, and we were looking at the box, and I was like, honey, how, how are we gonna, where are we gonna fit this thing? And like, and she was like, is it big? And I, I showed her like Junk Bricks review, like, this is how big it is. And she was like, oh my, <laughs> how are we gonna and we're like oh we're gonna move this furniture here we're gonna maybe move the Saturn V rocket somewhere and like do this and that and she was just actually trying to help me find space for it because I have no space whatsoever for this set I just really wanted to get it and I didn't think like how I'm gonna actually find space for it I did not think about this okay now we're just building so did you see the new Lego Jurassic World sets? I just saw the thumbnail on YouTube. I did not really... I, guys, today I was just uh, doing some chores in at home, prepared this stream and just started streaming. I, I saw a bunch of people uploading uh, set uh, videos to YouTube, but I did not watch any of these videos. So I'm gonna... Probably after the stream, I'm just gonna try to catch up and see what's up. And see what's up. Um, but that's gonna happen after the stream. Who watched MNR's interview with Mike? I did. <laughs> I actually rewatched it because I was like, it's kind of scary when you actually do a live interview and you say, uh, you talk about stuff and sometimes you say, oh, did it sound right? Did I like, was my audio okay? You know, all these like things you think about um, when recording a podcast, especially when it's like a, a remote podcast like this. And um, and I pulled off my best mic, like my best like podcasting mic, my Audio Technica, to be to sound the best. And I think I sounded really good on that podcast. So I'm I'm like a technical nerd. I really like stuff to work. Um, so yeah, GCR, thanks for subbing. Hello, welcome. Leak month, yeah. And I don't know, guys. Do you guys think like what? Are, which one of these are leaks and which ones are actual unveilings? Like, I have no idea at this point. I might as well have my stream taken down, like, every minute, any minute now, because maybe some of these were leaks I didn't know about. But a lot of the websites that are official websites, like the BrickFan, as you saw my yesterday's stream, uh, all the sources, most of the sources I had were from BrickFan. And BrickFan is part of the LAN network, and if he posts, then it's legit. So... You know, I, I hope we're all safe in this. <laughs> and LEGO won't strike the channels like crazy or something. I know they were taking down the Monkey Kid sets. I think they were like way too early. I think that was the case. I don't know. All the people on Instagram are doing all the leaks, yeah, that is true. Please leave a like. <laughs> sure, thank you guys. We have like 31 likes, holy ping. Whoa, we have actually 54 people watching. <laughs> that's, that's, that's my record. That's like the highest I ever had. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You guys are awesome. Nice. I've ordered the Arctic Batman set from 2013 and the Star Wars Droid Escape from 2012. They weren't cheap though. Ugh. Oh yeah, they're not. <laughs> good luck though, I mean, good, good, good haul, good haul. Ooh, that's a lot of money. Um, yeah. Cool stuff, okay. Man, this set is gonna have so much, so many secrets to discover, like, I can't wait. Like, people keep saying, reviews and the stuff. Um, that there's so much secret, so many secrets to discover. Um... UCS A-Wing is super cool. I'll definitely watch a stream of you building it. Oh, nice. Yeah. It was a good show. Seems short ever, uh, even though it was over an hour. Thank you. Like, I think MNR is trying to aim for an hour plus a few minutes usually. I think that's his limit. 
um, it's a good idea to actually have a, like an hour long podcast because I think that's a good amount of time that people will zone in and not necessarily like zone out after a time. But yeah, we try to cover everything in like an hour. I talk a lot. <laughs> if you guys listen to that podcast, I talk a lot. So like there's a period, there are periods of time when I just like blabber for like 15 minutes about certain things. I wanted to share my story. They asked me some really good questions and I tried to like um, answer to the best of my ability. Uh, to make it interesting for people who are listening afterwards, yes? So, I was I was talking a lot in that podcast. Which is good, it's a podcast. <laughs> so I think you should talk. You should be like active in the podcast. Because they started with a topic about me and then we went on to Lego topics. But they gave me like 40 minutes of me only. It was pretty cool. I was like... It, it was a funny talk, honestly. <laughs> Yeah, I did, I did some good points on the podcast. Like you guys keep asking me uh, very similar questions on my stream, so I think I was I knew what I wanted to say. So that was pretty nice. Man, so many good pieces like the crabs. Yeah, very cool. Very nice. I think this goes kind of here. Three in, three out. Trying to count the studs, like how far does it go? Okay, building the rock formations, it's like... I can already tell by after after like half the first bag, this set is super enjoyable to build. Just a lot of cool bricks, a lot of cool colors. Many, many things to like about this. There's a little crab. Hope he's, he's not gonna end up as a crabby party. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> I have terrible SpongeBob laugh. Congrats on 5k! Oh yeah, thank you! Um, a lot of these subs are coming from that bass guitar video. I That video just broke 500 subs over the last two weeks. And those are like mu musicians people and they probably look at my channel after and they say, oh, it's a Lego guy, whatever. <laughs> um, but yeah, that video gave me 500 subscribers. And uh, probably people joining from MNR's episode right now. That's really awesome. Thank you MNR for shouting me out actually. Um, and yeah, yeah, it's good. Like that bass guitar video like broke like 125,000 views like last night. It's crazy. It's nuts. I can't even, I can't even, guys, I can't even. I really can't even. Okay, cool. See, so I'm building the base of the island right now, which is super, super chill, super satisfying, super nice. Very nice. Okay, we're keeping... By the way, the manual has uh, 456 pages. 59 pages, so 459 pages. That's a lot. That is a lot. That is plenty. 5k, yes, thank you guys. It's thanks to you, the amazing people, the watchers of the cool factor. Actually, I could have made it without you guys. So, big shout out to my audience. There you go. It's so big, I know. I try. I'm gonna try to move the the, the, the island towards the center so you guys can see what what's up better than usual. I still don't have the pirate's head. I hope it's here somewhere. I couldn't find it. Honestly, I hope I didn't lose it or anything. It's not here. Do you guys see the pirate's head? Maybe it's somewhere like... It should be here somewhere, right? Must be somewhere. We're gonna find it. Don't worry. That minifigure's head, I, I just can't find it. <gasps> yeah, there it is! Oh my god, he was hiding. Ha ha ha! There it is. He was hiding under the palm tree leaf. Okay. So, oh, actually, he has a little mustache. So let's let's do him right now because before I forget, before I forget, forget. Shrink, What's his name? I don't know. They have names, but I keep forgetting who is who. Ah, shiver my timbers! Hi, your mateys! I'm gonna poof, 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 shoot the camera! Okay, yeah, so updated print. It has a really cool, like, robe for the belt. A musket, a cutlass, 
mustache, very simple face print. Can I? Right, I'm not gonna take it right now. And a bandana. There we go. Very cool pirate. Arr. Oh, sorry. His mustache is a bit. Is a bit weird. Whoa, this one. Okay. Woo! My 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 forehead is so sweaty. It's crazy. And thanks to my lovely wife, I had a haircut, so that feels actually much better. Like I was looking like a freaking yeti over the last few weeks. My favorite barber shop is closed because of the COVID. So my wife just got it, um, got it into her own hands and scissors and cut my hair yesterday. So I feel so much better. Shout out to my wife. She's lovely. And she's a really good hair haircut person actually I wasn't aware because I always go to a barber shop but desperate times call for desperate measures you gotta ask your lovely lady to cut your hair so I feel so much better now even though it's super hot in California it actually helps what is the secret of getting the girl of your dreams um, well I would say <laughs> I don't know be a decent person and don't be afraid of girls I guess I don't know I don't know. Get out there and don't be too crazy about it. I don't know. You're asking the wrong guy. I, I'm not good at relationship advice at all. Will you do more music content? Um, that that bass guitar video was like a one-shot take because it was more like a storytelling uh, video than a music-based video. I just wanted to tell their story because I was fascinated by their craftsmanship and that was it i wasn't even thinking about making this a music video honestly so i don't know i really like the i really i like beautiful nice things i like you know how guitars are made and electronics and, and all these things so it was kind of a this video was based on different principles to record it than if i was looking at it from a musician's perspective i'm not a musician Mike the Love Factor. <laughs> That's a good one. That is a good one. Mike approves. <laughs> the Love Factor. No. I would probably give terrible advice. I'm not that good at this. Mike the Love Factor. Okay, that's funny. Come on. That is funny. Okay, let's see what we have else. Okay, that first back is actually pretty big. Let's get out this one. Did you know ravens can talk? What? No. I'm, I was curious since your most popular video. Yeah, white elephant. I wasn't expecting that to happen at all. That video, like if you look at the statistic of that video, uh, that video blew up over the last two weeks. The first six months it was on my channel, it had like 10,000 views. And over the last weeks, two weeks, it got to 120,000 views. So somebody must have really liked it or shared it or something happened. But the intention of this video was not to show the music or the, or the you know, anything from the musician side. I was like, I wanted to make a mini documentary about my friends who are making amazing things. That was it. That was the whole idea, the whole shtick. I wasn't paid to make this video. I just called them because I, I went to Poland. I called them like, hey guys, I'm in Poland. I would love to reconnect with you. Because Agnieszka from that video is my friend from high school and her husband makes these guitars and she works with him. So I was like, hey guys, I'm here in Poland. I'm making videos now. I'm trying to learn things. Your topic is so amazing, so uh, inspiring. Your story about how you became a luthier that I want to come with the camera and let's talk about it, let's see what we can film, and that's it. I made this video in like two hours, with a short script, and then it took me another day to edit that and just post it. Because I, want, I wanted to make like a vloggy um, style of craftsmanship video, and that's it. And now people call me out on this because, oh, you should have, it's an ad, you should have made the guitars, you should have had a musician in this video to play the guitars for you. I was like, dude, I made it in two hours. I was fascinated about how beautiful the wood is. I wasn't thinking about how the guitar sounds like <laughs> for some reason. So that was funny. And now people are calling me out on it, but whatever. I still love this video. I think it was a good piece of work. Um, 
and uh, they just sent me like examples of their guitars sounding so I just posted them in my comments and stuff um, and people were still like oh we want to hear them hear them play it like yeah click the video so you can hear them play I'm not a musician but yeah you know how YouTube chat can be or comments all the weirdos coming in and not, not really reading the description at all <laughs> you should set a goal of how much subs you want I want all the subs all the subs of course all the subs yeah people I, I, I was uh, on this side that people subscribe when they really want my like my content I don't want to like force people to subscribe if I don't feel like I have good content like I don't maybe maybe I should advertise my content more but I feel like content itself should defend itself if it's good enough people will subscribe I don't have to ask them I of course I ask people to subscribe but I, I honestly would love to have subs who are really meaningful. That means the people who are keep coming back to my videos and really like it, uh, what I do, um, instead of like forcing people to subscribe because I said so. You, you know, I, I, I would love for subs to actually watch my few of my videos saying, oh, this guy has something good to say, or like this guy has good quality, or whatever the reason is, and then subscribe, and then click the bell button, you know, like. I would rather have like 10,000 very good subscribers who keep coming back, like you guys in the chat, um, rather than having like 100,000 subscribers who are just passive subscribers who subscribed for one video and never came back. Um, I think every YouTuber wants that, right? Because it, it all means when people actually watch your content, not how many subscribers you have. Uh, you can have like 5,000 subscribers and crazy engagement, or you can have 100,000 subscribers and nobody watching your videos, you know? Because they like this one video of yours. I j that's why I just try to keep improving my content. Keep making new things. Like you guys seeing the first stream with like triple camera angle. Which is crazy. Um, but yeah. That's my work. That's what I try to give you back. You know? um, always improving. Always learning new things. Always doing something, something, something. Never stopping. Arr. <laughs> Finding the treasures. Arr. Okay. This is a big bag to start with. Oh my, oh my goodness. Gracious. Hey, uh, I think we got a sticker from Jeff. Thanks, dude. Let me see if that shows up on the screen. It should. $3 donation from Jeff. Thank you. There we go. That's a sticker with fist bump, fist bump, fist bump. That's for the sticker. <laughs> RIP headphone users. That is hashtag. Cool. Thanks, Jeff. Appreciate it. Jeff is a great guy. He was on, our, on my stream last time. Um, today, I'm not, I don't think I'm gonna do Patreon on the stream. Um, but maybe, maybe later stream. Today, I wanna focus on on building as long as I can. Um, and I, I actually can read the chat. So, Jeff, thank you for being on the last stream as a, as a guest. We had also Trent McKenzie. He's an amazing guy. He's actually a a first line of defense medical worker who tests for COVID-19. So we had a really nice conversation last chat and Jeff also is my patron, so thank you, dude, for the amazing support. Woo! Hey, uh, get a sip of water, it's really hot in here. I hope you guys don't hear the fan, there's like a fan blasting my face at all times. I hope you don't hear it. My headphones have blown my ears off now, lol. Oh, sorry. Scusi, just hype in the chat for the donation. Very cool. Okay, let's see what else. I think I done with this part. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, I think I used all of them. There's a lot of details in this bag, so I'm trying to make sure I use all the bricks, that is. Mike, you can see the sticker on the chat, even though it doesn't show up on the screen, and that's pretty cool. Yes, those stickers are actually showing up in the chat. I see them. I see them actually in my chat uh, window. But yes, uh, the, the alert on screen will not show the sticker. That's how it kind of works. Because stickers are new to YouTube, so I think Streamlabs, that plugin I'm using for all the like donations on screen, uh, is not really uh, compatible with stickers yet. Look, a froggy! Look! A frog! Got up. Oh. Sorry. Ah. 
There we go. I had to like this camera turns off because it, it saves itself from overheating. Little frog. Oops. Little froggy. Very nice. Cool. Look at the sharp. How sharp this camera is. That's amazing. What? What? You can see my my hand lines, basically. Yeah. Very cool. Okay. Now I feel the stream is like more fun because I have so many angles to use. That's so cool. Like it's it's giving me such amazing vers versatility for such a big stream to show you guys as we go. What is up? Um, I'm waiting for my missus to come out of the store. I'm definitely parking legally, I think. Jeff, just like move your car every five minutes. You should be safe. No cop will actually ticket you for that. I think you're good. <laughs> good luck. Thanks for joining. <laughs> okay. Yeah, the, build, the island is starting to look really nice, huh? Will we ever get a new frog mold? I don't know. Did you guys see that new city sets um, with the like underwater exploration that I showed on yesterday's stream? They have that angler fish that's like, I think it's glowing at night. That's like the glowing brick. Whoa, the angler fish, that like weird like big mouth fish with like a little antenna hanging out from her forehead. Oh, you have a, your old badge. <laughs> oh yeah, you, you I, I forgot you. You were in law enforcement. <laughs> nice. A frog. We have crabs and frogs and red crab and yellow crab and a froggy. That is nice. That is a nice little habitat here on out. Okay, let's see. Really good. Yeah, guys, I think that waves of Lego right now are like really strong. Like, th that city line is so dope. I really like that big uh, exploration ship. My wife will literally like she's gonna kill me if I tell her I want all these sets. First, the money, of course. Second, um, where I'm gonna keep? Where am I gonna keep them? Like, oh my goodness! I saw the soon to be the soon to be gapping hole in my bank account, aka the new diver stuff. Jeff, you should not be donating to me then. <laughs> Save the money for the stuff you love! I know you like my streams and my content, but... <laughs> but you know, you know. I need... Oh, there's one more. Gotcha. Sell old ones. Actually, yeah, I started selling some sets on on eBay. Um, nothing that I really like was super connected to, like the older Technic sets that I reviewed some time ago. So I tried to like make space for it because I don't really. I'm not. You guys know that I, I'm not the biggest Technic fan. So, with the very few exceptions, like the Bugatti Chiron or the big ones, Technic sets are like whatever for me most of the time. So I like reviewing them, but I. It's not something I would keep over, like say these things you know so I, I sold like two or three sets last week the small ones like the small stuff I think the catamaran the stunt truck or something like this so trying to get some sets uh, of my my collection to fund the channel even more it's really helpful actually okay I think we are slowly getting to the finish that bag is insanely massive Good start. The exploration ship uses two of the holes from the previous one. I was thinking about interesting opportunities with doing that before. Wow, I didn't know that. Thanks, uh, Ben, for letting me know. I, I didn't pay attention, actually. Maybe that is true. I thought they had like a one big, big cast of a, of a mold for that set, but apparently I think those are two holes, right? Buy a new mouse? Why do I need a new mouse? It's a really good Apple mouse, I like it. Will you stream the Mando Battle Pack? This one behind me? Um, I don't think it needs a stream, it's a very small set. Maybe I'm gonna build like as part of another stream or something. 
It's a tiny set, honestly. I don't think it needs a separate stream. Um, but yeah, I just I just have it for now. I, I didn't open it yet. Why do Lego cost more often than? <laughs> um, I think Lego is fairly priced, honestly. Like, hate me on it, but I think Lego has decent pricing most of the time, with very few exceptions. Um, for the quality you are getting and amount of really good like fun with it, I think most uh, most of the time Lego is decently priced. Like, I'm not really saying that it's too expensive or anything. I don't think it is too expensive most of the time. In some countries, yes. But in the US, Lego is quite affordable, I would say. For most people. I'm watching you on my iPad and on my computer. Oh, that's like two viewers. Thank you. <laughs> cool. 47 viewers still in. I appreciate it. Nice. Okay. Um... And now we're building the palm trees, so I think those are the very few moments, last bits of the coconut palm tree, there you go, you can see, doing some coconuts. Buy a house for Lego only. Yeah. <laughs> when I buy a house, I'm gonna have at least one room for Lego only. At least, actually, well, I, I do need a studio in my, when I ever, if I ever buy a house, I do need a studio, that's for sure. Um, I'm gonna need a studio. That is for certain. Okay, so we're doing, gotcha, that's a cool country, actually. Oh, we need two of those? Okay, we need actually two of those. Nice. Very cool, actually, a lot of like... That canopy of a tree is, is very um, dense, so it looks good. Very nice. Okay, we can do another one of these. Times two, that is. Oh boy. Gotta go, folks. Uh, thanks. Uh, take care, everyone. Stay safe. Thanks, London Bridge Bricks. Appreciate for joining. Ethan, welcome. By the way, I'm not sure if I said hi to you. Have you ever played Minecraft? No, I did not. Um, will you get a rock big fig? What do you mean? What what what's the rock big fig? JL1983, welcome. Hello, Mike. I'm thinking about getting this one. You I really wanted for the ship build. Oh yeah. I mean, I'm starting off, of course, with the build for the um, the island with the wreckage, um, but after, most likely, I may just modify it um, and have see have a look at the ship. Actually, of course, like I think I said it before that I, I really, if I can afford it at some point in time, it would be nice to just have both sets, I like two sets and one in uh, island display and one in ship display. I think that'd be cool. That'd be cool. All right, awesome. So some, these look amazing, the palm trees. Oh my God, it's kind of cool. I think that's this way, okay. It's actually, what's the best way to display it? No, I think this one's good. They're kind of like wavy. Okay, like this. I don't know, you can actually rotate them, so whichever. Like, th this looks a bit too bent, right? It looks a bit like it's like too... But I think this looks... This looks good. Yeah, I like them this way, actually. Cool, okay. Actually, I think this is this way. Like, it doesn't matter really that much. Um, okay, this way. Okay, so actually those are like this. Okay. 
it doesn't matter. Like it's it's up to your preference which way you wanna wanna display them. Yeah. Okay, get, get in there. Okay, cool. Nice, really cool palm trees. Okay, next step is the last bits of the first bag, big one. That is, it's a big bag. Do you do you prefer this set or Apocalypse Burg? Um, I did not build the Apocalypse Burg myself, actually. So I have, I do not have comparison. I wasn't, I did not have um, much time to spend with Apocalypse Burg. I uh, I do not own it, so I'm not sure. Probably I'm gonna be biased towards the Barracuda Bay because I actually have it, and I think it's amazing. I wonder why the sales in the LEGO Online store went up that much, despite other non social goods are difficult to sell at the moment. Well, I think people still have money and LEGO is a great activity to, to do when you're stuck at home, I think. Plus, you know, all the LEGO stores are closed, so the only way to get LEGO, the new one and the exclusives, are, is, the, is the online store. So, that's why, you know, people still buy LEGO and all the traffic goes to the LEGO website. There is no food traffic in any of the stores, actually. So you have to take that into account. And Lego, yeah, if people have money, uh, I know it's a tough time in the economy right now, so if people still have money, like Lego is the best thing to buy and do <laughs> if you're stuck at home. You know, you can play video games, but you can also build Lego. And I think that's why the company is doing so well right now. I would not be surprised uh, like after all this is over, if LEGO will post um, their numbers and they will actually see a, a grow uh, in the during the COVID time, despite the economy state. Um, that would be actually unsurprising to see. I would love for that to happen actually. I would love LEGO to have successful time when, you know, the world is struggling. They need economy though. Jason, uh, gotta head out. Take care Mike. Enjoy the stream. Thanks Jason. Always welcome. Appreciate it. I wish the old palm trees would come back in some way. Yeah, th those were nice. I remember those. I think we're building that that little like um, an ancient face right now. That little thing that is on the side of the island. I think it's a, it's a it's a Easter egg to an old theme um, for sure. Arr! Check it out. Wait, I'm gonna finish this actually first. I will just finish that, that little build and then I show you. Very nice. Very, very, very nice. It's so cool actually. I think it's missing a tooth. Funny. I think they've even seen a rise in new customers as well since people are trying new hobbies and they can do it from home. That's a good point, Dr. Greeny, as well. Uh, yeah, absolutely. You know, people love visiting Lego stores because there's a cool experience, but, uh, you know, in the current time, you can't visit a Lego store. Um, and, uh, and with the recent improvements, I think Lego shop is actually much improved when it comes to customer experience, and I think the ease of ordering things is much better after they fix the website in many aspects. Um, so now I'm not surprised that they're getting a tick of, of orders out of it cool like so see there is like a hole in here and there's like a little joint so that way this guy is angled very cool let me just oh and we just we just cover oops knocked off the palm tree sorry about that uh and we just covered the um the mechanism with a with a rock so even that like that detail that you cover the mechanism with the rock and a little seashell. Boop. Cool, all these are extras. So these are extras. I'm gonna push them away because I don't I don't wanna get them mixed with my with my future bricks. First bag is done by guys by the way. Wasn't too wasn't too, too, too slow. Okay, so let me show you to that working? Okay. Gonna move the this is really good actually. I don't need those sales right now. 
Um, yeah, so it's it's on a little joint, like that's why it's angled. So you see, this brick is covering the whole uh, connection, technic connection, and it has a seashell. Looks really good, huh? And the pirate, arr. just just he's gonna be chilling under the palm tree. Why not? He's gonna sit somewhere here. Can, can I sit him here? Okay. That is such a cool scene. <laughs> I really love it. Very cool, huh? Okay. I'm gonna switch to this cam for a second. Oh, the chat is actually covering the cam. I'm gonna cover, fix it. Okay. Cool. Let's open bag number two. Bag two. I'm gonna switch. I'm gonna switch back to the, to the building cam. Oh my god, I'm so sweaty. I'm sorry, guys. I'm probably shining like an egg right now. I know I have a high forehead. I know that. Okay. Nice. We have bug number two on the table. Is there any, any, any more bugs number two? I don't think so. I didn't see any more bugs number two. I think that's the only one. Okay. Cool. Very nice. I think this is my best quality stream yet, guys, don't you think? I'm, I'm super proud of my setup right now. The webcam is actually pretty good. That's good. 1080p. 1080p. Very sharp. Arr. I like it. And you know, here's the cool thing I can do. Check it out, check it out, check it out, check it out, check it out. See those lights? I have the new lights, right? And I can click on my computer and go like... Actually, I can bump it up a bit to, to make it even brighter. Like, we can do like 40%. 40%. So it's all controlled from the computer. I love it. So even now, the bricks are, are even seen better. It's it's such an upgrade for me. Elgato Key Lights. Recommended. On the pricey side, but you guys made it happen. So thank you. Does my studio have air circulation? Not at all. <laughs> I'm I, I'm in my bedroom. That's my apartment. Like it's not even a studio. I have I have a a fan blowing cold air on my face, but it's still like so warm in here. That's why I shine so much. I'm so sorry. Um, like the ACDC shirt. Um, by the way, great setup with very sharp multiple cameras. Thanks, Rafi. Yeah, trying my best. Welcome, by the way, to the stream. Mercury Universe. Brighter is better. Yeah. I, I just uh, adjusted the, the brightness just a bit. Learning new things. Learning. It's a learning experience. Right? Yes. Okay. So, we're starting starting to build the decks. I believe. Slowly but surely. Okay, it's gonna go here, actually. Um, nice. Let's see. Seven of these. Yeah, the Elgato key lights are great. Like I was like, oh, they're like a bit of expensive. I can go cheaper ones, but these have so many options. They're first soft light, super small footprint. I basically those are like clamped to my desk right now, so there is nothing on the floor, no stands, no cables. I love it. It it helps me so much with like this little space I have. I should have gotten them sooner, honestly, but they were so expensive. Um, but I'm happy I can do it right right now. Um, it's gonna, I'm gonna probably just sell my old lights because like these are amazing. Come to New York City. It's called in spring. Uh, so come <laughs> right now. Yeah, like California just got a heat wave, so we're kind of we're scorching in here. We are getting scorched. Um, probably gonna move, move this to the side just a bit so you guys can see it better there we go Woo. slick stream thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you and it is 60 frames per second 60p I'm baffled I can even handle that how does it even work? 60 frames per second. 
Ooh, brighter is better, there we go. I think it's so hot, like every piece of water I drink, like every cup, uh, it just, I get sweaty. Hashtag sweaty mic, okay. <laughs> How did you end up in California? Welcome Christian Silvestre, by the way. Um, I am in California for about five, over five years now. Um, the reason I moved here was because my wife is a, is a researcher. She's, the, she's a PhD in biotech and bio, microbiology. And ever since, like, since she was looking for a continuation of her career, she got an offer for a job here in San Diego, California. And we basically Packed our things five years ago and moved to California straight from Poland. And um, I switched my jobs. We relocated. We basically emigrated uh, for her career. So and it's been going for the last five years. So that is why I'm in California, basically, thanks to my wife. Because I, she got a great opportunity uh, working in the um, local university. So we got to travel, you know, a bit. Oh, the parrot is here too. Awesome. Thanks, yeah, no worries, man. Always appreciate to answer some questions for the viewers. There we go. Missing the pick a brick wall. Could you show us the new lights or would it mess everything up? I, I actually can. I can use that, that minifigure cam. Hold on. Can we do it? I think we can. I, I should have like enough. I should have like enough. Um, <laughs> trying to, okay, hold on. Uh, okay, turn on, please. Okay. Okay, so this is the one light. It's like really bright, but you can see it's it's on a, on a little stand and that stand is actually sitting uh, to, on the desk to the clamp and then those are my Lego sets and my big big closet. This, this is the camera you guys are seeing for the building. So that's my stream, by the way. <laughs> and this is the second light. So you can see how soft they are, and they just you can control them from the computer. And this is my this that's my setup. That is my massive setup, basically. So kind of how it works. And I have to like reset my camera. Oh. Okay, I think we're good now. I don't want to break the cables or anything. So that, that's how it how it works. And those are great. Like the, the, the cable is like next to the poles, and they're like they don't leave anything on the on the um, on the floor. It's amazing. It's amazing. That's my best upgrade yet. I love these. I absolutely love these. Worth every penny. Happy content is key right now, thank you. Hey, Mercury, thanks for uh, kind words. Welcome to the stream, by the way. Happy content, happy content. Hashtag, happy content. Everybody's happy, yeah. No, honestly, I think we need, we need more positivity in the world right now, you, I absolutely agree. I think we need to like stay positive, stay, stay together, apart but together, you know? Somebody summed it up, somebody summed it up in a great way. I think a friend from my, from my work said like, we're in different boats, but in the same ocean in that situation in the world right now. So I think it's a great way to sum it up. And yeah, happy content, you know, support each other, make people happy, make them enjoy their days at home. I think that's a great way for us, especially Lego YouTubers to actually step up and make sure you, you guys have something to watch. Um, and, and, you know, we enjoy our streams as well. Too. A lot of people are streaming nowadays. It's really true. Okay, we're just adding those lights. Uh, sorry, uh, flowers. Yeah, I like this phrase too a lot. I think it's it's a great summary of the current world events. Like people are staying apart but together, both in the ocean but in the same ocean, right? I think so, there was a great um, kind of like a paraphrase of the current world situation. I did uh, really enjoy that phrase.
Yeah, so you guys stay healthy, of course. My best wishes for all of you. Whoever's, you know, everybody's stuck at home. California is on lockdown. Actually, we're getting, I think, our beaches reopened um, this Monday, like, uh, periodically. It's like uh, you can... Starting this Monday, I think you can go to the beach for a walk, but you can't sit on the sand and you can't, like, um, sunbathe. I don't think you can, but you can go for a walk. Like, the, you won't get fined for walking alone on the beach. I think that that's gonna be fine starting this Monday. And they reopened some of the parks and people really keep their social distance. So I think that's why they decided to um, to reopen stuff and like make people feel less confined in their homes. A lot of people are still staying home, but at least you can go for a walk on the beach. Cause honestly, like if you think about it, the beaches in San Diego are so wide and so beautiful. Like it's easy to keep distance from everybody else. It's easy. Um, and But they're still keeping the parking lots closed, so you can't park by the beach, but you can walk to the beach. Um, the phrase, phrase links well to the set. Yeah. We're all in different boats. Like this dude. But we're in the same ocean. This ocean. <laughs> it's a great paraphrase, right? Okay, sorry, your boat is taking space here, so I'm gonna keep him, keep him put here. Okay, uh, the balcony is actually very nice. Check it out. I really wanna show it. Ooh, look at that. Pretty. Flowers and a dual molded parrot. And I think that parrot, because of the technique that's used here, it's gonna look different for each of your sets. Like, each copy of Barracuda Bay, that parrot will be slightly different. Very nice. Okay, where does this go? Oh, okay, it goes... I'm gonna just switch the camera. It goes on top of the island. Um, the star okay, it's, it's just like an overlook. Very cool. Very nice, very nice. Very, very, very nice. I love it too. The colors of this set, the um, discoveries, the little details, it's amazing. That's why I call this set the set of the year so far. Very nice. Very beautiful. Fuzzy Brick Studios, very nice, very nice. Thank you for chatting. You were not allowed to go for a walk until now or only to enter the beaches. No, only to enter the beaches, Ben. Um, you know, I'm, I'm technically you are allowed to go for a walk with your family. You're not supposed to go for a walk with a friend or like somebody who is not living in your household. That's that's the um, restriction. Um, so, yeah, I can go to the store, take my kids for a scooter ride or something. Yeah, that's fine. Um, one thing they're kind of putting together is that May 1st, California, you are required to wear the mask anywhere in public. You can go to the beach, but actually you have to wear a mask. Um, so far, the masks were like optional, but now the masks will be actually um, uh, mandatory. They will be actually mandatory. So that is a that is a thing. Okay, six barrels. Where did barrels go? Okay, three here. I love how this all comes together, like it's all gonna like end up in a lot of like walkways and little wooden planks everywhere, which is really amazing. Okay, so yeah, I'm s building some sort of like a build up for the whole uh, wooden structure. Very nice. Very Casey, Casey nice that the music. I love this track. Same regulation in Germany. Gotcha. Plenty of these parrots. They are all different in the same with the green and red ones. Yes. Yeah, so they're like, it's kind of like a mixed, um, mixed mold. So depending on how the colors blend together, how the colors mix in the machine, I guess, uh, each parrot will each parrot will look different. Same goes with those like uh, with those um, uh, ninja go blades. Remember those ninja go blades with like dual molded blade and flame on it. Uh, they each one of them was was different. So that was the case. Just you know you you can't really blend them um, 
precisely in such mold. Okay. Oh my god, I love how this comes together, like all the structure and like a little, little pier. Think I might have a red parrot like that? Yeah, we used to have red parrots as well in different sets. That is true. That is absolutely true. Something, something. Like this. I like this music a lot. Like this track in particular. Such a positive track. Did you guys, um, Mr. Beast? You guys know Mr. Beast, right? I actually met him. I met him like two years ago on an event. Amazing guy, Mr. Beast. You guys know he's like one of the biggest creators right now. Really cool guy. I, I have a selfie with him somewhere. I gotta show you something. Uh, <laughs> but he made like a really cool stream yesterday with a rock paper scissors charity event that they raised like several million dollars for the COVID-19 efforts. Um, and he had like multiple stars on the stream, like Casey Neistat, Jeffree Star, Ninja, uh, some other, like so many known people like Pokimane, uh, a lot of famous YouTube people and not only fa YouTube people, like actual celebrities. And they were playing uh, rock, paper, scissors on live for charity. That was, that was such a fun stream. Mr. Beast is like probably the nicest guy on YouTube right now. He's insane. And like I met him personally and I talked to him for quite a few moments uh, because like I was on the event and um, and a friend of mine was doing some content with him and I was basically recording Mr. Beast and um, and my friend they were doing magic card tricks it was like two years ago and he's such a humble guy such a nice such a nice guy yeah Mr. Beast is a great guy Jimmy is a great guy honestly we talked briefly. He did not give me any money. <laughs> like he's giving money to everybody. <laughs> I wasn't feeling that. <laughs> like, hey, can you give me money? No. <laughs> no, he's a crazy dude. Like his con is insane. Like he spends like millions of dollars on, on content. But I really enjoyed his yesterday stream with that charity stuff. Yeah, when you go to events like uh, media events uh, or creator events, uh, it's very easy to meet uh, biggest creators and really have a chat with them. That's how I met Peter McKinnon, how I met um, Sean Duras, how I met uh, Mr. Beast, um, a lot of other people, uh, Cody Warner, had a coffee with him, really cool guy too, a lot of YouTubers. I went to a conference uh, that for, for learning how to YouTube basically. Um, it was a really cool conference and it was a very like private event and all the big names were there so it was, you can just like after the the keynotes you were able to just hang out have coffee with one of the most famous youtubers and it was really cool it was a really good event i enjoyed it a lot yeah okay sorry uh, the lights are like um reflecting off my manual so i have to kind of see what I what I do here hello hello again welcome welcome let's see how far we can get in the stream guys I think I may just be able to repost that video from that event like on, on the cool factor because I think I posted that video on my Polish channel. Yeah, I may just like make some captions and maybe repost it so you guys can see how fun it was. Maybe. I'll see. I was thinking about it actually. Like, I met Mr. Beast when he was like way below like 10 million subscribers. Now he's like 30 million or something. He's kind of nuts now. Oh, I wish, I wish this bottle Come on. Ah. I wish this thing had a, an actual print of the like the black pearl or something like from that bar, uh, you know um, that Pirates of the Caribbean set Queen, uh, Simon Mary had an actual black pearl print on it but this one doesn't would be cool though would be cool would be really nice 
Okay, we're doing some sort of like a like a tool based sort of like a storage area. So we have some tools, some tools, whatnot. Okie dokie, and oh, some planks through that. I'm gonna show you all the detailing in a second. I wanna show every single detail. I'm gonna I wanna utilize the cameras I have to the possible highest extent to show you all the like planks and weird things that this stuff has to offer. Ha! <laughs> this is actually cool, let me show you. Cause see this? This is sort of illegal because Lego is asking you to put it on one stud here. But because this brick is angled, it actually touches the corner. So this stud is not fully in. It's not lining up. It's kind of under the angle. See? So you have to do it like, like this. Hey, thanks for subbing, Louis Dog. Appreciate it. See? So it's not fully angled. And that's actually what says in the manual. So that's funny. And there is like a, a, a plank here to show the, the rickety um, uh, walkway. I, I, I like it, but I don't think that's a really legal technique to not fully start in a, a, a brick. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. That's cool. What video games do you play? Hey, I actually just finished uh, Ace Combat 7 yesterday on PlayStation 4. I played Ace Combat 7. It's like a really cool uh, arcade like jet game. Fun, fun game. Just finished the story yesterday. Really good game. Had a blast with it. It was a ton of fun. It was a lot of fun, okay. So many details, that is crazy, guys. Oh my goodness, okay. And one more lantern on the top. Harry Potter lanterns, I would call them. That's what they are. So I play a lot of games actually. Like I play usually single player games on PlayStation. I have so much backlog to go through, I play like, I just uh, went to a DLC of um, Horizon Zero Dawn, the Wildlands, the Frozen Wildlands, I think, a few days ago, I play some GTA V, um, I play different games actually, I do enjoy different games. Cool. I like single player games most of the time. Okay, and now we need... Oh, we're starting to build the shipwreck. Okay. So the island is sort of like... This piece is mostly done. The shipwreck will go here. But we're starting the actual shipwreck. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna open this bag of uh, big bricks. Have I played Uncharted 4? Yes. Love this game. I love games from Naughty Dog a lot. I love the Uncharted series. I love The Last of Us, one of my favorite games ever. Can't wait for uh, The Last of Us 2, which is delayed at this point, unfortunately. And uh, I still have to play through Uncharted 4, The Lost, uh, like that, that DLC. And also I have a remastered Uncharted series to play through. So yeah, Uncharted games, probably the best on PlayStation. Probably. Um, but The Last of Us, I think, was the best storytelling game ever made, honestly. Maybe next to The Witcher 3. Woo, the ship is starting, guys, by the way. Still 42 people watching. Thank you guys so much for your support. You're amazing. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Amazing. Can we get a like for 50 likes? We got 49 likes right now. Can we get a like, please? One like, guys. Who couldn't click? Come on, come on, come on. Who did not click that like yet? Just let me know when you're ready. I'm gonna make a pro shout out for the like number 50. Would be great. Please do so. Do you play Lego game? Uh, I think I said that the only game I played so far in Lego World was um, uh, Marvel Super Heroes 2, basically. But I, I was dig I'm digging that um, Skywalker Saga game that's upcoming. And I think it's launching at the end of the year if there is no delays. 
I can promise you that I'm gonna play Skywalker Saga when it comes out on the stream. Like, I promise you that. This game looks so good on the trailers. I really wanna play it for you guys. I think I'm gonna play it. The Haunted House has unstarted planks on the windows. Oh! Gadget, thank you, 77 Gadget. Welcome to the stream, by the way. Didn't see you before. Uh, good, good to know. Good to know. It's an old set. I wasn't familiar. I'm not very familiar with this set. Um, it's my from my Dark Ages. Good stuff. Enjoying the set? Oh yes. Oh yes. Probably one of the fine finest. This was so fun to build. Like, so, look at the colors. Everything. Palm trees. That head. Like so many like crabs. Planks, I don't know, everything. It's so much. It's just the beginning. It's not even the. It's just the first bag. This is the second bag. But whoa, this is so much fun so far. Great building experience. Kudos to Lego so far. And I'm not even started properly yet. I'm not even there. Am I doing good? I'm doing just fine. Thanks. Yeah. I am doing just fine. Thank you. I'm feeling great, great stuff, great uh, time to build today. We're gonna go for probably one more, uh, uh, we're like halfway through the stream, I have three hours to share with you today. So we're gonna go for maybe one more hour and 30 minutes, of course it's like halfway right now. Um, and yeah, we'll see how, how far we can get. We'll see how far we can get. I'm hunting Lego every platinum trophy, nice. The only games I did Platinum on was Spider-Man, Marvel Spider-Man, that last one, and um, God of War, um, the new one. I Platinum that one, that was amazing. That game was the dopest. Absolutely fun game to play. And completely, completely amazing. God of War, yeah. I wanna Platinum The Witcher 3, but that's a lot of content to go through. I still have to play through the DLCs, honestly. But The Witcher is like probably my favorite game of all time. Yeah, gaming streams should be hopefully coming soon to this channel. I really want them, but it's still not, not my priority. Because I'm a gamer. I do game. Actually. Oh, so that's the uh, Islanders reference. Yes. So this is the, uh, I forgot the name of the theme, so thank you for reminding me, Islanders. Yes, it's a great reference. Do you love, do you love, do you live? Oh, do you, maybe do you love more this set than the original idea set? I enjoyed the original idea set quite a bit, but I do enjoy what LEGO did to this one with adding the actual Barracuda Bay remake. I think that was a blast of a decision. Because they, they, they took whatever had, the, uh, they took the best ideas from the original project and made it even better, I think. That's what LEGO did here. And I'm super happy they did so. I think that was a very wise decision to, to remake, to do a hidden remake of one of the most beloved pirate ships of all time. So LEGO outdid themselves on this set. I, I think that, that's how you should say it. I think that's what happened. Okay, just adding some details right now, and that's gonna be the finish of bag number two out of 54. <laughs> I don't know how many bags are there. Even, so. Yeah, I played Spider-Man. I just said I, I did Platinum on Spider-Man. Fully finished, 100% finish. All the achievements, everything. I Platinum that game. Spider-Man game is absolutely ton of fun. I loved this game. Okay, that's bug number two, guys, and we are going to bug three. Okay, let's go. Let's see, I have to find it first, so... I will disappear for a second under the table and find the actual bug three. How about that? I'm just gonna kill that light, I don't think we need it. I had like an extra light in the back, I don't think I need it. Hello, who's, who's knocking my door? Hello? That is three. And I think that's it. Have a good night. Marco, come bedtime, take care. Love your channel. Thank you, Marco. Have a good night. 
such a great side content in the Spider-Man game. Yes, Greeny, um, absolutely. I loved it. That's why I platinumed it because it was so much fun to play after the main story. Jesus, what is happening? Who was knocking on my door? <laughs> my kids. It's like, Dad, what are you doing? I said you want. I'm, I'm gonna let my kids play with this set for sure. Titanfall 2 is a great game actually. I've been playing Titanfall 2, such a good game. Nice change to have ones that has no microtransactions or loot boxes. Max, that would be really cool in Lego. Yeah, um, there was a, a, a Lego mock builder that made a bunch of amazing um, Titanfall 2 Max. I think the guy that made the Thunder Joe for Brick Vault. Uh, oh my God, what was his name? I, I forgot now, I'm sorry. But yeah, he made Titanfall Max as well. Um, Titanfall 2 is like, I think, under underrated game. It has amazing single player story, um, no ma no payments, no nothing, just a pure gaming experience. And I think people should have loved that game much more than, than it, they did. Titanfall 2, I played through it as well. Yeah, it was an amazing game. Okay, I'm gonna make some space. Sorry, little pirate. That's bug three. Question, Mike, did you think that LEGO Masters was rigged? Uh, no, I don't think it was rigged. Um, yes, I was disappointed by the outcome. I, I honestly, you can spoil it right now, like it's been a while, but I, I honestly think that um, Boone should have won. Again, I may be biased because I know Boone personally and I think he's a great guy and I was vouching for him and I was rooting for him for the entire season. Um, Tyler Clyde is a great builder. I, I showcased his mocks multiple times on Brick Vault, multiple, multiple times on top 10 mocks. Great builder, amazing guy. But honestly, I think like overall ex performance in the show was to, to Boone and Mark. So I don't think it was rigged. Maybe it was more like a um, sort of like a popularity decision, maybe, because people liked the couple more than Boone and Mark. Tyler and Amy, maybe. I don't know, I, I, I'm not the one to decide, but I do not really think it was rigged. I, I think it was maybe just a, a bit of a controversial decision. Uh, when you just consider um, the quality of the builds to the entire show, like I think Tyler and Amy, at one point they were like close to getting eliminated and Boone and Mark were never. So that was kind of a, like a throw, uh, like, a, like, a, like a weird thing to, 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 to throw into the, the mix. Um, Okay, that's Robin Loot, right? That's her name, Robin Loot. I'm gonna show you guys her in a sec. Really cool thing, though. Just trying to find what is she. Um, she has two guns. Gun metal, nice. I know you're a Marvel guy, but have you played any Arkham games? Actually, I I have those games on Steam, because I picked them up some time ago on a sale, but I never played any Batman Arkham games. I know they're really good. It's just my massive backlog of games I should play, but I didn't have time to play. So I did not play them, I have them in my Steam account, but I did not play them. Okay, let's take a look at Miss Robin Loot, I think that's her name, if I, if I remember. Sorry, this camera just keeps turning off. Yeah, Robin Loot. So, she has two... Uh, little guns. Cool print. Look at that mold. Oops. Her molded in into the cap. New mold entirely. Does she have a, a feather? No, she doesn't have a feather on her cap. There is, of course, an opening for the feather. But yeah. Pretty cool fig. I would say. Come on, focus. Focus. There we go. Nice pig, I like it. I like the minifigure. Cool, okay. Four times uh, long bricks. The build is coming along very nicely, actually. Hey, Brasa Studio, welcome. Thanks for joining. Um, thanks for subbing. Very underrated, they made the movement mechanics so good that the Titans aren't even the best thing in the game. Yeah, Titanfall, I know. That, that is a good statement. Um, okay. 
here, so just adding the planks here. The side build of the ship. Righto. Um, maybe uh, was it maybe decided more on just the last round? Haven't seen it. Okay, yeah. Yeah, Lego Masters. I don't know. Like, there's a lot of discussion in the Lego world right now about this, and used to be a lot of God of War. Uh, Arman, I played. Uh, that's God of War is the second game I fully platinumed. So yeah, I finished God of War with full 100% finish. Great game. Mm, Mike, is it possible to build the pirate ship outright? Thinking of getting this, but just want to build the Barracuda only. Um, Holden, I'm, I'm really like onto seeing the island first, so I'm, I may modify the ship later for my review. Um, but yeah, the manual follows you with building the island first, so I'm gonna follow with the manual and actually build the island and then think about maybe modifying it after. I, I also want to see the Barracuda Bay ship uh, on its own, but I'm gonna build the island first and then see how much it takes to modify it, because that's what, what I'm interested in. So I'm not building the ship first, sorry. I'm just doing the, uh, the island. <laughs> I think they adjusted them quite well on the current possibilities, the bird, yeah. Yep, 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 yep. What do you think of the minifigures? Classic looking. They're yeah, they're, they're slightly updated. That's I think that's what um, Ben said. I like them. I like the updates. They're just like on par with the current um, quality of Lego minifigures. Uh, I think each print. I will have to compare them for the review. Like see what the differences actually are. They're very subtle differences. Um, all in all, yes. There. I think the updates are overall pretty good. Four times these guys. Okay, one, two, three, four. Okay, and we need to build. Let's see. Okay, here. And I think there's a lot of black on the screen. I see that. I wonder if I can kill, kick the lights in a bit, but I think that's that's okay for now. It's a bit dark. Let's see if I can get the lights a bit higher. This is so cool, I got an actually 40%. Maybe go 50%. Woo! I'm, I'm so sweaty. Maybe the lights are like cool, they're okay, but it's just the room is getting hot. Mm. They like remade from the old DM from the pirates, yeah. Redbird is a character that used to be. Uh, a person in Lego back in the day. He was in the, you know, his original Barracuda Bay ship had a full story to, to it. Woo! This room is like really hot right now. Coming along pretty well, I would say. Okay, two times of these. Okay, so we gotta do twice the build. So let's see if we can find all the pieces. Okay. Okie dokie. I think the lights are actually too much right now. Hold on. I'm gonna do like 45% power. They're super bright. Like if I go to 100%, they just blind me, honestly. They're so great. Such a good product. So happy. I have a fan. I have a fan. It's blowing on me, but I don't think it's doing a really good job. Honestly, I may just readjust it. I, I feel like the fan is hitting my, my, my face, but it's still like... I don't want the fan to go too high because it's going to be heard in the microphone. I think that's going to be the case. I may try it and ask you guys if you hear the fan, but I, I, may, I think I have like one more level of power to, to put it on. Yeah, it's like super warm day in California right now. It's kind of crazy. And I don't have AC in my apartment. I wish I had AC at this point. 
but it would cost me a, a lot in, in, in electricity probably but I do not have AC Mike has many fans <laughs> I love this one Mike has many fans thank you <laughs> they used to call me an air conditioner but I'm not a fan it's like a like a stupid joke They used to call me an air, co an air conditioner, but I'm not a fan. Funny. Or something like this, something along those lines. Yeah, that's why I think that's why I enjoy streaming at uh, in the evenings more because it just like the, the, the apartment gets cooler. Where I use a lot of the lights and uh, it just feels more pleasant than it is right now. I'm gonna take, uh, I'm gonna need a shower after this, honestly, I think. I may just really go and check on that fan and see if I can make it even more powerful and then we're gonna see if you guys can actually hear the fan because I think it's gonna be actually get loud but to survive this stream I may need to do that because it's getting really hot in here okay, adding some extra bits I think I'm actually building pretty fast today, like honestly I feel like I'm faster than usual. Maybe I'm just like so stoked to build this. I asked my gym teacher if he could teach me the splits, he asked how flexible are you? I said well I can make Tuesdays. <laughs> Pun jokes in the chat now. Pun jokes. Mike has many fans, yeah. If you had space, would you... Uh, if you had space, would you probably buy the Marvel sets or DC sets for me? I feel like the new Marvel sets are nothing. I don't know, I didn't see them yet. I did not have the chance to watch any of the new unveilings today, so I'm gonna do that after the stream, guys. The original idea set is actually quite different to the final LEGO set. Yes, it is very different. Uh, I think they made it even better, honestly. I think they, in the in the end, they made it better. Overall, I think the the original was great, but uh, the set is even better than the idea. Oh, cool! Like, check out that technique. There's sort of a. I'm really digging that technique they used here. Um, sorry, I'm just gonna move it here. That technique they use here to get those things in, it's like a little angle, but they, they just used um, two of the Technic bricks, and now it's, um, it's angling towards, yeah, it's such a good technique overall. Very cool. Yeah, okay, we're gonna be adding this here. Boom. So that's how you achieve the angles. Very cool. I think, you know, so many details will be like hidden in this set after it's finished. It's insane. Like building techniques, whatnot. It is. It is impressive to say the least. Adding more. Woo! Some great jokes in the chat. Okay, I'm gonna try to uh, go and see what I can do about that fan. Maybe it's gonna like cool me better. Hold on. Let me guys know if you can hear the fan. If, if that's too much, um, I can tune the mic down a bit. 
Gonna tune the night, but yeah, the fan is blowing right now. Do you guys hear the fan a lot or not? Like I can adjust the mic slightly to like not not receive a lot of air. Let me know if you guys hear the fan too loud, because the mic is is quite sensitive. So I hope it's not the case. I hope you're fine. I I I can hear the fan. It's it's pretty loud right now. But it's so much better, like I feel the cool. I can hear it, but it's fine. Okay. Sorry. I gotta keep myself cool here. Yeah, oh it sounds better like. Hear nothing? Cool. Yeah, so I try to keep it keep it keep it like away from the microphone, like the microphone is good. Sounds fine, thank you guys. Uh, who was subscribing? Thank you, Heine Olsen. Thanks for the for zobbing. Thank you. Fun is fine. Thank you, guys. Okay, so I can hear the fan. You can hear it. Perfect. So my mic is very directional, so that's good. <coughs> so the, the mic is not catching it. Good. Good, good, good. Good. Wait, where do I... Where does it go? Here? Oh, hold on guys, I think I messed up. Oh, I, see, I, my, I see my mistake. It was supposed to go like this. Okay, and now it goes here. Perfect, okay, I fixed it. Sorry. I got you. Okay, fine, now. thank you, thank you, thank you. Good to know, so at least I know now that I can actually run the fan on the stream so it won't be a problem, which is good, good, good thing, because it really helps me, like, it cools me down right now if you speak, it's so much better, oh my goodness. I was getting really sweaty, and now I feel like I'm getting better. Okay. Ooh, little details. Like a, a captain's quarter, I think. Oops. Oh. oh my god, where is it? Ah, I dropped it, got it. Okay, very noticeable. Thank you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Good to have a responsive chat like this. Thank you. Oops. Okay, a little a little candle. And it actually will be going right here. I think on this side. Here? I'm sorry, I'm just gonna show it to you. I think it's right here. Okay, like this. I think. Yeah, so we're building the deck. That's actually a cool shot to build from, don't you guys think we can keep this shot for a second? Because I'm building a lot of details now. I'm just adding a ton of details. Okay. This goes here. Okay, and I think this goes like here. There we go. And there is one more element to it. It goes here and here. It's gonna actually connect to the island. See? Okay, two of these. A lot of good stuff happening here inside the ship.
a lot of good things happening here. Okay. Cool. That boat piece reminds me of a very old Viking ship I had, yeah. My response are also very late though, across the world. Ah, I don't think that's the case. Woo! Right oh, okay, there's a lot of small stuff here, so I'm just gonna keep going with the focus. My god, this is a massive set. Like I keep forgetting how big these sets are, like how much of an effort it is to build one of these. I, I it's like it's crazy how you keep forgetting this. I will keep I'm adding these elements here right now. DeLorean or Ecto-1? Ooh! Ooh, that's a tough one. Ugh! I like both. I love both fr both franchises. I think... Uh, oh, snap, dude. As in LEGO set, I think... Um, Ecto-1. As in, like, pop culture reference? As I... I think uh, DeLorean is much fun of a... Much more fun of a vehicle. When it comes to, like, its purpose. Ghost hunting or time travel? Hmm. <laughs> but as I said, I think uh, Ecto 1. Okay, and one more here thing. Hold on. Oh boy, 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 boy. Does it have a figure head? Like the ship thing, not for a minifigures. I don't know what you guys talking about. A, a Viking ship? You guys talking about? Okay, and now we're building the sleeping quarters. Yeah, we're building some beds. Yeah. Nice. So basically, this this is the interior part of the ship. Because they gotta sleep somewhere, right? They're basically living on the island. So they're, they are very much so sleeping here. Oh, and they have like different colored uh, bed sheets. That's nice. So cute. I'm gonna add this in a sec. gonna just add those beds real quick okay so the first one oops camera is just ah. see so it's like it's trying to like not overheat itself so it's killing itself there we go So I, I can't stay too long on this camera, so let, let's let it um, have a little, like, time to, to actually cool down a bit. Man, Redbird's crew have been isolating away from the society much longer than us. <laughs> that, is, that is actually true. Just trying to adjust the mic a bit so it's closer to me. Cool. Awesome. Woo -wee. Let's see. Okay, more details. I love those little like um, details, like a little desk, a bench, whatever that is. There's a bottle of em empty bottle of room <laughs> next to the bed. Okay, I get that. Twoje włosy są krótsze. A Polish viewer asked me that my hairs are my hair is short. Yes, thanks to my courtesy of my lovely wife, I find lovely wife. I finally got a haircut uh, by her. So, because my, my favorite barber shop is closed because of the COVID, 
their barber shops are not allowed to operate. My hair was getting out of out of control. I was like, I was. So I told her like, cut me, honey, like the shortest you can. And for the summer weather. And now I'm like almost almost like bald. <laughs> so there we go. Um, I'm gonna answer in Polish because I'm not sure if you speak English, but tak, o, moja żona mi obcia włosy, bo już miałem problem z długimi włosami i mój fryzjer się zamknął i niestety nie miałem innej opcji, ale można wykonała dobrą robotę. I just told to him that my wife cut me and she made a great job. Cut my, cutting my hair. In Polish, that is. Why is the rum always gone? As Captain Jack Sparrow says, yes. The rum is always gone. It's always not enough for a pirate. Whew, that's a lot of details in that interior, honestly. Like, whoa, wowie, 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 wowie. But we're slowly getting there. Why do like in Lego sets pro form from pieces or build yourself example? What do you like in Lego sets pro formed pieces or build yourself example the base of the ship? Um, do I I don't get that question. Do you mean like what do I like uh, a Lego making specific molds for specific elements or if I like them to be more brick built? I think certain elements are good as a certain mold, like this base of the ship. I think it works great because it's solid and easy to work with. But yeah, sometimes like that upcoming um, pirate ship of the sails brick build against this one, which has like cloth sails. I think sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So it depends. It honestly depends. Oh, I think I missed a brick here. Like in this case, these elements, the big ones, work pretty well for that ship, of course. They, they are meant to do that, to work uh, absolutely good, well. I like that piece, um, that element, that element. This is, I don't think I've ever seen that element in in that color, in this like nougat color. Talk about the details. And I think this goes right, right here. See? Yeah. Very cool interior so far. Okay. Preformed, preformed. Okay, yeah, so I, I got your question. Yeah, so sometimes preformed pieces work well, sometimes brick built elements work well. Depends on the situation, I would say. There is no general rule to it. There is not really a rule to it. Okay, so this like it's a holder for the captain's cap, I think, or sort of. Sort of a... I'm gonna show you all the details in, uh, up close when I finish this interior so we can get a little tour of the interior. I think there's a lot to it, honestly. Like, I was, I'm surprised. It reminds me of the uh, Ninja, uh, Ninja Go movie Destiny's Bounty. Like, that interior was amazing. With multiple levels and stuff like that. Um, that was really cool to see it build and to, to, to actually build it. It kind of feels the same. It kind of feels the same. It really does. Uh, I need one more brick. Did I put that brick in? Did I put that brick? Oh yeah, I did. Okay. There's so much to it. Like, I want to switch to that uh, um, close-up cam when I actually finish that interior, because there's there's a lot. It's a lot. 
I think there's like a like a room dispenser here or something. Like an actual bar. <laughs> I think I'm building one right now. It's crazy. What? Okay, yeah. Zipping through this bag actually. Have you played Rainbow Six Siege? No, I did not. What's my favorite song? Probably something from ACDC. My favorite band. Probably something from ACDC. Um, probably Thunderstruck. Um, or something along those lines. Or Back to Black. So many good songs. ACDC is my favorite band. That's why I have the shirt, though. Metallica. I, li I like the oldies, oldies rock. Have you ever seen a barracuda? I saw them sometimes when I lived in Egypt. Creepy looking things were very cool though. Me and my brother pretty much have a dream to see some kind of a shark. Uh, I think I, I might have seen a barracuda when I was snorkeling back in uh, Hawaii. I, I went to Hawaii about like two years ago, did some snorkeling, seen some uh, green turtles and really cool encounters. I think I might have seen a barracuda uh, here, is hiding under a rock in one of the reefs. I might That might have been a barracuda, but I can't tell. I was freaking out and I was just like swimmed away. Because they can be vicious, I think. I mean, the, the, the kitchen and the quarters inside the ship are amazing. Uh, let me show you in a sec what, what's up with all the detailing. Oh my god, that fan works so well right now. It's like, I, I feel so much better. So much better. That's great. Okay, building the windows are we? Are we mateys? Building the windows. Hey, hello, Billy Banjo Kid, welcome! Have the original pirate ship from the 1980s? Yes, so this is a remake. So you say you have the, or, the OG Barracuda? Cool. Great set, congrats. But I think this one's even better. I think this one's even better. Come on, get in there, okay. Wait. So I, lo I love these windows with the... Um... I'm gonna show you guys. I'm gonna show everything, I promise. Let me just zip through this build and, and show you the actual detailing here. <laughs> Feeling all this effort. <laughs> Hey, keep it family friendly, but yeah, I do agree. I wonder why YouTube did not really like filter your comment, but they did not, so. Where will I keep this set? Oh, Vladimir, welcome. I think I saw you before, but I forgot, I forgot to answer. Um, I don't know, we were, we were debating with my wife where this should go, and uh, I think she has some ideas on how to move things around to make space for it, because she also loves this set. She saw the box and was like, oh my God, this is beautiful. And she's not even a Lego lady, you know? She's not even that much into Lego. Um, have you ever tried listening to Airborne? They're a band inspired by the ACDC and I think make a very good modern... Oh, no, I did not know that. Airborne. Airborne. I'm gonna remember that. I uh, Yeah, for sure, I gotta check it out. I, I, I always like some style of power power rock like ACDC used to do. Um, so if they have like a, like a kind of like a inspired by them uh, music, you know, style then I will check it out for sure. Thanks for letting me know. That's something to, call, to discover. The band is called Airborne. Easy to remember. Gotcha. Oh, wow. This is amazing so far. Wonderful set. I don't think LEGO could have made a better homage to the pirates than this. And they're making another ship in Creator, which is crazy. Which is crazy. Never too old for Lego, oh yes. Oh, you don't have to retract your message, like that's fine. A single like F word, that's fine. Like, I'm not even a kid's channel anymore. <laughs> or I never used to be. Copa, you know? <laughs> I never meant to be a kid's channel anyway. Okay, so everything are extras. This is back three done. Okay, let me switch to the, to the uh, highlight cam, you know? Okay. 
can show you. Just my manual just stuck to my sweaty arm. I'm sorry. Okay, so what do we have here? Is that first of all, sort of like a like a pantry. Look at that. I like this camp so much. I might just do a review using this one. I don't know. It looks so good. Okay, we have a keg of room with a dispenser right here. We have a a bunch of bottles. And there is a, a little kitchen table with a with a coffee mug, sort of a coffee tea, like a candle, and and a, and a chalice of sorts. I was mentioning those windows. Look at those windows. Such a good detail. I like this um, side ladder of the side of the ship. And then we have uh, sleeping quarters with two beds with different, uh, colors of sheets, a little desk. There's actually another desk on the other side with a letter too. Um, they're like for the minifigures, like the jumpers, there's a bucket. Wonder what that bucket is for. <laughs> oh my god, maybe for the seasick. For the seasick, for the motion sickness. You just puke in the bucket right away. And there is an empty bottle of rum next to the beds. This bed is a story, and the last element is try that, uh, that desk with a cap, and I look at the detailing under with the bricks. It's look really good. Guys, full build. So that's bug three. That's what gets you in bug three. And number four, goes even further than that. It goes even... Just keep going on you. Okay, bug four. I have to find it, actually. Find it. Marek! From Slovakia. Ahoj! Vitaj! That's Polish. Dzień dobry wieczór. In, in Slovak. Like, jak się masz? Jak się masz? What? Switch from four white cars to four city uh, and I don't know. I like champions. I don't think four city because the eight cars are actually one control base plates with stuff on They would work very well for like this. Uh, studies are like you can go with the streets actually. I like what they did, but I think it only works big beam. Yeah. Is it out? Oh. Yes. Uh, my mind is running out of battery. I will use the battery. Thank you. Yes. Okay, guys. I will check the microphone. So I'm Okay, we should be back on. Uh, so I have a, a shotgun microphone that is like for audio recording for my videos and it's battery operated because I'm not using phantom power. So that battery was actually um, blinking that is running out of energy. Okay, we should be good now. No audio issues should be right now. I just had to recharge the battery. Are we good now? 
Okay, Sony is dead. We're good now? No, sorry guys, yeah, when, when, when this mic goes off, it kind of like, it beats. It like boop, 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 boop. But I can't hear the microphone, I, I don't, I don't monitor the audio, I just have the music on. So I, I can't tell, so it was like picking on my, on my audio reading and now you guys told me, so thank you for that. That battery was running for like the last two months on one single battery. So I think it was the time to actually change it. I should have done it with the, before the stream, honestly, every time. <laughs> Thanks for noticing. Mike, the, the fixer. I, I fix technical issues on the go. That's what I do. Perfect, thank you. So I just had to swap for a fresh battery. Actually, I had to take one from my old one of the lights because all of the other ones are still charging. Okay, uh, back four. Oh, how time? What time is it? Oh, two, seven. Okay, I think we still have time for back four. Okay, so that's back four. Cool. Music's beat. Yeah, boop, boop, boop. I know, it sounds weird when like... I, 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 I had the same issue when I was recording a video back in the day and I didn't notice that my mic was going off because I was monitoring the audio and I, I recorded the entire review and I was like, cool, now let's edit. And I just pulled the files in and it's like... Boop, 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 oh, great. Reshoot. I had to reshoot the entire review because the mic went dead like five minutes in. Uh, do I miss Poland? Yes, I do. Yeah, I mean, you know, I moved so far. I, I, I do miss my family. I do miss Poland in, for many things. The food, the people. I love US. I love California. It's a great place to be. But I, I, I do have some homesickness from time to time. I kind of got used to it. It was worse before, but now I'm kind of getting used to it. But yeah, I do miss home. what they call the homesickness. Okay, so this one is kind of finishing the um, Mike the Fixer, Bob the Builder. I think at this point, like, I'm so grateful that I know my gear so well. I actually know how I operate. I, I set it all myself. So if something is wrong, I can, like, fix it on the go. I, like, I know what's up. <laughs> So like issues like this are like, huh, brush it off. I'm good. Like, you know, when you when you work on your own stuff for such a long time, you are very familiar with your gear. And you guys said, oh, there's something with the audio. Like, exactly I know what it is. So first thing you check the mic, it's blink it was blinking, saying like, I'm dying, I'm dying, I'm dying, help, help, help. It has like a little like LED on it. I that I have to like look like this to see it. Um, but like, help me, help me, help me, help me. And then I helped it and it works again. Okay, let's see what we have. Actually, I gotta move this island away from here because I don't think we need it right now in the shot. Like, it's, it's gonna be required later. So you can see the island. I'm just gonna move this here. Um, I'm just gonna move all the bricks closer and then we have I don't have the biggest tape of the tables honestly I hope you guys get it yeah Zenia really come on hey Vitek food is great in Poland come on Try living in the California for like a few years. It's only burgers and tacos. I love tacos and Mexican food, but I miss a good, I miss a good pierogi. I miss a good bigos you can get everywhere, like a good sauerkraut. I miss a schabowy. I miss like a Polish restaurant where you can actually get like a full on meal that's not a burger. I miss that, come on. You say you don't like Slovakian food, like you don't like Eastern European food. I love Eastern European food. I think it's great, come on, man. Where did I put those? I had like a little um, stack of bricks here. Guys. Where did I put it? Where is that? Guys, where did I put it? Honestly. <laughs> did you guys see me put it somewhere? 
Oh, there it is. I, I was blind for a second. There we go. Yet yeah, is great in in uh, like uh, Eastern Europe. Will there be some new videos on your Michał Richter channel? Um, Vitek, I'm, I'm focusing on, on my co-factor cool right now, so I don't really have time or the ideas for uh, Michał Richter channel. Like, Cool Factor is my main baby right now, honestly. Um, I do enjoy making LEGO videos more. And yeah, I do not have much time for anything else. Like, if I was only running the Michał Richter channel, he's talking about my Polish channel, by the way. I do have a Polish vlog channel that I stopped uploading to like a few, year, a few good months ago, maybe even over a year ago. Uh, when I started the Cool Factor, because Cool Factor takes all my energy and time, so that's only why. Probably if I didn't ever think of Cool Factor, I would just, um, yeah, focus on the other channel and like keep making Polish videos about California. Yeah, probably. But for now, I, I don't plan to... Um... Oh wait, there's like an extra... I do not plan to to add things to my other channel as of now like maybe i just don't have the energy or time to do so so i hope you understand i know this channel was like fun to do but that's that before the cool factor cool factor is much more fun october's welcome hello 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 um did you redo the whole review or just the audio? I had to do, redo the whole review because I record reviews. Sometimes I do the intro and I do like, actually I speak live without the script. I just have bullet points and I just handle the set as I speak. So it's easier for me to redo everything than just the audio. I just like scrapped the whole project and I had to like reshoot it from scratch. So it was much more time efficient, honestly. It was much better for me. Just retake it, retake the whole thing. I think it was just a better idea. Usually when I, when I mess up, I just re redo uh, my, my takes. Ooh. The door. Discord? No, I'm not doing Discord today. I'm, I'm finishing actually in like 40 minutes uh, for today. So I'm not doing Discord this stream. Central Europe is Central Europe. <laughs> Would you rather live there and do you see yourself moving back someday? Christian, um, I miss Poland, but I have, you know, I, I built such a big connection to California now. Like my kids are at school here. Like we basically switched our life center to California. I work here, like Cool Factor is not my job. Like I, I, I work here actually full time in a bigger company. Um, and I enjoy it here. There's so many things that are different and better, honestly. Some things are worse, but some things are better. Yeah, like if, if life goes like the one way or another, like and I have to move back, I won't regret it that much moving back because I still miss Poland quite a bit. Um, but I, I would rather live here uh, for now. So, so yeah. Wait, does it really go in there? Oh, nice. So the door is actually... I like this door. I don't remember seeing this door for quite a long time now. Oh, come on. Okay. Yeah, see? Such a cool... Wink! I like this, like, extra touch with the extra... Um, window. Is that a new piece or was that piece available in the old pirates? Let me know. I, I have no idea because I don't remember the old pirates very well. Let me know, please, chat. Choice of drink, water. Honestly, or like actually, like I like these things. I like these things. Um, just carbonated, flavorful, uh, f flavored water with zero calories to it. Like uh, that's that's what taught me to actually eliminate soda drinking. I don't drink soda anymore, mostly. Mm. Just like water. Embrix, I had to go for a while, but should be here for the rest of the stream. Hey, dude. Of course. Um, I'm finishing in about 35 minutes. Uh, f for three hours is my limit for today to have like more time with the fam afterwards and also don't get too tired I don't want to get too tired today because I have a few other things to do today to tonight so I don't want to go too long oh hidden side graveyard nice hey Jean Blade welcome Better to shine in one thing than to fade in several. That's a good point, Vitek. 
Have you ever tried Chilean food or wines? Chilean wines are especially popular. Funny you should say that. Um, I mean, I don't, I'm not familiar with Chilean food or Chilean wines, but I have this like app where I learn Spanish, Duolingo, and I'm, I'm on the food section right now when I learn like food words. And every second sentence in that app to learn about the food is like Chilean wines, Chilean food, Chilean wines. Like uh, los, los vinos chilenos son muy bonitos. So, you know, it's like everything about this uh, course is about Chilean food. I'm not sure why. <laughs> Just a funny story. But I should try it, right? I like food in general. I try to learn Spanish. It's, it's, it's my little side side the goal right now i'm trying to because i've been living in san diego for the last five years and i don't know spanish i feel bad about this i want to learn spanish I'm trying to learn spanish at least but since i do not have time for regular classes i just use the app to learn i'm living in an hour i'm gonna be heading out in about 30 minutes so you can stay after uh, so i'm gonna be Actually, heading out seas. Wait, did I mess something up? Oh, okay, it's like one too, too high. I, I used one too much. Right? Yeah, okay. Cool. Oh, something. I broke something up. Okay, this one. Got it. Okay, slowly but surely we're building up the ship. So I keep breaking things out. Okay. Eight times? Okay, we gotta do the covers. The cannon covers. I think it's funny because they, they kind of modified the covers for the cannons to windows. Is that true? Are you ki are are you my kids bilingual? Uh sort of, yeah. <laughs> it's funny. Uh my older kiddo, she's seven, and she speaks English and Polish. She's very fluent in English now because she goes to an American school. Uh, my small one, which is almost three who, who is almost three she speaks Polish, English, and Spanish. Slow, like slightly, because she goes to a Spanish daycare, and the lady that runs the daycare is Spanish, so they use a lot of Spanish, and that's why she she's like trilling. She's about she's, she's actually, I would say tri trilingual because of that. So I try to also learn Spanish to to help you know my kiddo be like have three languages. It's kind of crazy. On this stream, no guests. Next one, maybe, yes. Like this one, I wanted to focus on the build and explore the build without, um, you know, getting uh, like distracted a bit. But I do enjoy having guests a lot, so probably next stream we're gonna bring some guests. Today I wasn't planning to, honestly. I wasn't planning to. I just wanted to start the build and see where I, where I can go with that. So for, the, for like, I, I think I said in the last stream that I wanna have some streams where we have guests and we can chat. But when that happens, I usually neglect a lot of the messages and you guys, I read the messages, but I, I, we talk a lot with the guests, so I don't have time to reread really them. And the chat feels like they're like, you guys are like ignored by me, but you're not. <laughs> I actually read the messages, I just don't respond to them because I talk to the guests and it's kind of difficult. Um, so yeah, we're gonna have guests next time, probably. That there was in a lot of older sets. Thanks, and bricks. Um, Spanish uh, even more present in everyday life in San Diego than LA, or is it similar? Ben, I, I'm not very familiar with LA. San Diego is basically bordering with Tijuana. Like San Diego and Tijuana are one, just split by the border. So Spanish uh, is is very common here. Like all the pla all my favorite food places are Mexican places with tacos. Um, And we have we have spammers in the chat. Hey mods, can you get them out of here? Thank you. Uh, 
I don't care about some BCNs as games. Oh my god. Okay. Screw those guys. Just hide them. I don't want them in the in, the, in my channel. Oh my god, there's somebody like actually spamming. Whoever is BCNS games, you suck. <laughs> Honestly. With your like trying to ride my stream. What a what a bunch of creepers. I like raids like when people actually join and enjoy the stream, but spamming is not allowed, so get lost. <laughs> yeah, some people are just dumb. Uh, some some random gamer probably that has like some bad stream just like started to like I, I don't appreciate that I do not appreciate that I'm gonna be very clear here I do not appreciate it I don't care if you're coming from like a stream or something just say hi but do not spam I like spamming is instant ban like just so we're clear Just so we're clear. What a what a scammy channel! Like, don't go to his channel. Like, honestly, go 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 screw yourself. <sighs> Bunch of retards. Sorry, but sorry, but I had to say this. I think those are bots. Some random bot like found my channel or something. Yeah, like mods. If you can, if you see them, like just just hide without even like uh, timing out. Just hide them. What a bunch of idiots! Just hide. There's, you can ban. I'm sorry, guys. It's not. It's, I I can't really control it. And I'm gonna make sure to go to this guy's channel and, and make sure his channel is hidden so he never watches my stuff or like whatever comments or anything like that's the if you're trying to do this on YouTube and trying to force people to your streams to your terrible streams um, That is like the worst way to go Those are bots No, those are bots guys so a bunch of bots is targeting my channel right now. I'm just gonna hide the chat on the... Um... I'm just gonna hide the chat on the screen for now, I'm sorry. Just hide them, just click hide and just delete their account or something from my channel. Thank you. I'm sorry that it's happening. No, do not time out, just hide. Slow mode? Oh, Brian, welcome. Oh my god, how do you do slow mode? Live chat. Slow mode. I'm gonna add slow mode for like 20 seconds. I'm sorry. Guys, I had to impl I had to implement slow mode um, so they don't spam like this. I'm sorry, Brian. Thanks for the. I, I I thought that the slow mode was engaged, but it wasn't, because I I have like pretty slow chats most of the time, so I wasn't thinking about slow mode. But now it's it's like every 20 seconds a message, so at least you don't see like multiple messages from these a holes. Those are probably bots. So I'm not even naming a person at this point. It's just like a bunch of bots. It happens sometimes. I did not happen for me for a while, but I saw this happening in other channels. So whoever is that guy that was promoted, like honestly screw his channel. Like I don't wanna even like look what, what that thing is. If you're trying, honestly, if you're trying to promote your channel with a bunch of spam bots, if you even paid for it or whatever, you're the scummiest person on earth and I don't wanna have anything to do with you. That, that's my take that's my on it. Harsh words. But you're just a scam of the earth if you're trying to do this on other people's channels. Um, and I hope I, I make myself clear. I, not, I do not appreciate it. I do not... Like, probably this guy, whoever he is, like, he probably paid for these bots or, like, engaged these bots. In, uh, so it was a decision of, of the owner of the channel to actually make it happen. 
and that's not the way you do YouTube that that's the way you do scam uh, basically so this this type of behavior honestly makes your channel banned faster than you think and I'm gonna actually report this channel after I stream I'm gonna go to his channel and report him for spamming on my channel so hopefully hopefully he's gonna get his channel suspended or something like that I, I suggest you guys do the same just go whatever to that channel that was advertised and uh, report as uh, a suspension <laughs> I think that's a good way to do the roast factor <laughs> I, I you guys know me I do not get mad or roasty most of the time but there are a few behaviors on youtube i i do not tolerate and spamming with bots is one of the biggest crimes i can name on youtube right now and like never ever do that on your channel like never ever hire bots to promote yourself this is like something that gets you insta banned and reported so yeah if they were not bots, that's even worse, because like you're trying to direct your viewers to harass another streamer, and that also gets you banned from this um, friendly environment, if you will. So you guys just, I'm sorry for that on my behalf, but you know. So right now there is slow mode for 20 seconds. Um, I hope you guys are okay with that, I'm sorry. So a message every 20 seconds. I usually do not engage this because like I do appreciate many messages from you. Uh, thanks for subbing, I'll see you dream by the way. Probably he was motivated by my speech or something. <laughs> um, but yeah. Yeah, rant over. Rant is over. End of the rant. Ah. Same thing happened to Brick was yesterday and he was like glad because of more channel participation. Uh, I mean, Brickwiz is getting quite a few viewers, so he should be fine without bots spamming on his channel, I would say. How do you report a channel? You just go there and then, like, if you go, like, to the three dots on that corner, I think you can go and, like, block user. You can block the channel from appearing on your channel, and then there's an option to report that, that behavior. Um, I, I did that sometimes when, like, people were spamming things on YouTube um, with in inappropriate content. Uh, and you can, you can actually... Um, you know, if the content is bad, you can also um, report the content that way. So I think that's how it works. Okay, I think we're we're getting closer. Twenty more minutes. Twenty minutes to go. I want to finish in twenty minutes. And thank you, Brian, by the way, for joining. I, I I know like you joined in the worst possible moment, or maybe you were just lurking in the chat. I don't know. Oh, and there's like some, some trap music right now. Ugh. I used that music for some other project that was more of a heavier side. Yeah, cool. Okay, back to the build. <laughs> spam, spam attack uh, averted. Spam attack averted. Roast factor disengage. Disengage roast factor. Disengage. Small price to pay to get rid of the scammers. Thank you, Embrix. I, I'm glad you understand. I mean, moderators are excluded from the slow mode, of course. My mods, my lovely mods. Brian included. Here a while chilling. Oh, you're always chilling, my friend. You're always chilling. No, glad to have you, man. Thanks for helping with the suggestion of the slow mode. I, I, I completely forgot I did not have it on. I usually do not have it on because, like, you know, we have... Uh, we're getting like very few viewers most of the time so i do appreciate just people being allowed to s to chat as much as they want this is the first time it happened to me but <sighs> situation averted what's wrong with trap no nothing is wrong with trap i like trap but this song was a bit explicit so i don't want i didn't want to like i used this song for a certain project i remember but i think it has some it's, it's the explicit version so i don't want to play like just for the safety of it, I should remove this song from my playlist. I like the the beat and everything, but it had uh, lyrics were not the best for um, for streaming. I think I should remove that song because this song was used for a specific very project that I used to I, I I made like few few months ago, and that's why it's still on my playlist. That's all it is. I like trap. I actually like the beat and everything. I do like it, so don't get me wrong. It's just the language that they were using in that song later in the. In the song. Um, 
close the timer and didn't notice. Oh, okay. Yeah, the mic is fixed now. We had a uh, we had a battery issue with the microphone. It was just running off the battery after uh, two months of operation. It was finally dying. <laughs> so I had to live swap the battery. That's what happened. I live swapped the battery. So cool. Okay. And now we're building up. I can actually switch to this camera maybe for us for a bit. Because we're gonna be building this side so you guys can see it. Okay, a bunch of planks. This one. Oh sorry, the the table is a bit is a bit shaky, I know. Because the camera is on like a tiny tripod of the tiniest tripods. How many? Four? Okay. Enjoyed my podcast with MNR, by the way. Thanks, Evergreen Emeralds. Welcome to the stream, by the way. Yeah, I did enjoy recording this quite a bit. It was fun. I hope you guys enjoyed as well, watching it. I think we had some great conversation about my past with Brick Vault and all these things. Like, there were some good questions asked. Um, and I, I really wanted to share some stories, so that was pretty fun. I, I did enjoy that, and I, I'm grateful that MNR uh, invited me. Good progress, yeah, doing some progress. Sorry to ask again, but I'm really intrigued. Where do you come from, Poland? I mean, I was born in Wrocław and live in Germany from my second year. Uh, Witek, czy mówisz po polsku pewnie? Uh, I was born in Płock, which is like central Poland, and I lived most of my life, not, maybe not most, my adult life in Warsaw. Czyli urodziłem się w Płocku i żyłem w Warszawie, w Polsce. I poznałem moją żonę w Warszawie również. I hope that answers your question. I hope you, you, you must, I mean, if you were born in Poland, you understand Polish, you're a native. So, for sure. Outsider, welcome. LW, welcome to the stream, by the way. I'm sorry I did not say hi before. Are you picking up the A-Wing on Friday? Um, I actually might have an A-Wing copy to review coming to my, to my place, so we'll see. If, if not, I, I, I am just gonna, I'm just gonna uh, pick it up and buy it, probably. Okay, so this is so far this. Hey, Sarah Starbricks, wanted to watch earlier, but we had the power outage. Ooh, hope you're, you're okay now. Been working on a diorama while watching your stream. Very enjoyable to have in the background. Thanks, outsider. And welcome, Sarah. Managed to report him after filing out 10 pages of forms. I'm not sure if it's though. They seem to expect that he's using his account to spam. Yeah, thanks, Ben. Yeah, I think that's how they find out. Because, like, right now there is some sort of a plug with bots on YouTube, like commenting bots. And apparently now there is a thing that are streaming comment bots, which is a new thing to me. So YouTube is doing a pretty good job in removing those accounts. I have this guy. I'm not sure if you guys are making content, you probably had this guy that had the same, like a bot that had the same um, profile picture and was named like Tim, Todd, Tom, whatever, and was like always the second after you post a video, he just shows up and like, cool video, bro, wanna subscribe to me? Or like, great content, bro. And like, he wouldn't, he like the second you make the video public, he just shows up and comments. And he was just like, scanning YouTube for new videos and commenting on everybody's videos. And I just ignore these comments or hide them, but these, these account comments, accounts with comments, are removed by YouTube like the day after, they're just gone. So YouTube is doing a pretty good job on cracking down on those stupid bots. Um, but yeah, there is some sort of like a plug with YouTube botting. I think somebody finally developed, not finally, it's a terrible idea, but they developed a commenting spam bot that were not a thing on YouTube, I think, before, like, or maybe, I don't know. I never encountered so many bots uh, than I did as of late. Like, so many bots. It's crazy. YouTube is, like, really, like, killing them, but... The, 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 the stream spam bots, I, that's the first I see, the type. They're evolving. Burn it with fire. They are evolving. <laughs> 
they're like developing and adjusting to our new streaming maybe because that many people are streaming right now and the um, lockdowns maybe that's why there are so many bots i don't know i have no clue Oh, I messed it up. <laughs> One stud off, sorry. Didn't see that. Um, hey, Freak Show, welcome. Subscribing, thank you. By the way, we have uh, we had Rorark Kovacs subscribing and Alcino Jr. subscribing as well. Thank you, guys. Um, are you a LEGO ambassador? Not yet. Uh, you know, Beyond the Brick is are the ambassadors, so that's why I'm sort of like on behalf of them, part of the program, because I'm part of the team. So that's why I do get sets for reviews for Beyond the Brick, uh, which is amazing. But yeah, uh, I always wanted to become one. Like, I'm not sure if I will apply, uh, but that would be fun to, to be an ambassador. Like, I would love to be um, part of the, of the network. Like, that would be really, really fun. Uh, and they have they have good great support for creators like a lot of people are now that I know are ambassadors like MNR is just the good is uh, beyond the brick of course um, yeah brick vault are ambassadors so there you go I would yeah I would love to be part of that but for now I'm, I'm happy with how what I uh, that I'm able to use the program sort of uh, on behalf of beyond the brick and um, that is great actually very fun. Um, wait, I missed something up? No, it's supposed to be here. Oh, okay, okay, I see that now. Wait. Okay, so we're building up this back. And that is the last box for today's streams, by the way, guys. For today's stream, this is the... I'm gonna finish after this bag. Um, that's gonna be wrap up for this stream. I'm gonna be coming back during the week, most likely. But not the source channel. Yes, yeah, so I think like channels are actually paying for spam bots now. So I hope YouTube will double down on cracking down those channels and like shutting them down because that's Ill that's illegal in YouTube terms. You're not supposed to do that. You're not supposed to hire bots to spam for you. This is not the way it's supposed to be. So I hope YouTube will crack down whoever that guy used. Like how stupid have you do you have to be? Like you run a gaming channel, you start and you think that you're gonna gain some traction by hiring a bunch of bots? Well, good riddance, get lost from YouTube. Like, uh, nobody will care about your channel if you like start with that. Like, that's the worst, worst possible um, idea to start a channel like this, honestly. Like, don't do that. Nobody will subscribe to your channel if you do that. Like, that's like a career killer at the, at the beginning. If you just start and you think about botting, you're dead already. Did you get a haircut? Yes, sir, I did. I had, I have a love-hate relationship with my hair, but after like weeks of lockdown and my barbershop being locked down as well, my hair situation was getting out of control. So I politely asked my wife yesterday and she, she had no experience and I told her, hey, can you please cut my hair? The shortest you can. It's really short right now, so I, I'm like, feel better. And she was like, Whatever the outcome is, you can't complain. I was like, fine, I'm gonna close my eyes and I'm gonna let you cut my hair. And she did, and she actually did a really good job. It's 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 much more, it's much better. Like I, I'm sweating right now a lot, but it's actually very comfy right now, and I'm so happy because I was afraid I wouldn't go to a barber shop for the next like five months because everything is closed in California. But my wife saved the day and she cut my hair and she did a really good job, so I'm grateful, <laughs> super happy with the outcome. And actually it feels better because I can wear headphones without feeling weird again. So that's good. Okay, few last bricks for this bag and we're gonna be wrapping this stream up. Perfect timing, actually three hours in. Thank you guys so much for joining, but we're, we're not there yet, just a few more bricks to go. Woo-wee! A bit longer is nice. My partner is hair is crazy. I told him I would try. Yeah, I, I know. I usually leave it a bit longer, but this time around, I told my wife that hey, we don't know how long we're gonna be locked up here. So if you don't wanna cut my hair again in like three weeks, make it short. 
so she, she cut extra short so I don't mind I don't go out that much so I don't have to look that good <laughs> um, <laughs> which is funny um, so I said like yeah go really short but not bold please um, so she went short and I like it it's actually much more convenient right now so there is a story with my hair Okay, guys, few last bricks, and we're gonna have most of the ship finished. I mean, most of that element of the set, of course, not like everything. Uh, she did a great job, thank you. She did, I, I, was, I was very proud of her. She was scary, like she was scared, like a lot. You should apply, the worst thing that can happen is getting a no. Yeah, of course, I will probably apply, um, but we'll see. How do you become an ambassador doing that, a minimal influence on how they measure this? If you go to the ambassador website, Ben, um, they basically uh, give, um, lay out all the requirements for this. So you, your channel has to be a functioning channel for a year, for a full 12 months. And then you have to have like a solid, like a thousand subscribers, I think or so, or some followership. You have to have examples of content based on Lego and you know a good engagement on that content and i think i may qualify uh, but you have to apply through their form and show your your engagement how your channel has grown so far i know i had a big gap in my channel when i wasn't uploading for a few weeks few good weeks like not so long ago so there may be a bit gap they will see but they look at your metrics and see if you are worthy becoming the ambassador which means you once you become ambassador you actually get set to review and stuff like that so it takes a bit of a practice and i think of, of, of a patience i would say and i think they do like two rounds of of applications that they review like like ideas like twice a year i think they accept new members but it's a very limited program now right now so it's it takes probably they have a lot of applications i'm gonna try to apply of course but Again, like I'm happy with where I am right now. Would be a great little perk and and recognition badge, if you will, to be in the ambassador network. I would really appreciate it. Um, but it's not like super prioritized right now. I just enjoy making content as it is, um, and I'm happy to be part of Beyond the Brick as well. So that makes me really happy with uh, what I'm offered from them. So that's that's really nice. So. I think that we're good for now, but I would love to be uh, ambassador in the future for sure. I don't think uh, qualify. You, I mean, oh, Brian, you mean you don't think you qualify because I don't do Lego stuff on my channel? Um, yeah, I, I think um, you, you, you have to do like a Lego channel. Yeah, you do gaming mostly, so I'm not sure how that will work. Uh, by the way, Brian, you, you're supposed to like Twitter me or Discord me. You haven't. I'm waiting for your message or whatever. I can, I can, I'm available most of the time. So hit me up about stuff, you know. Uh, but on yeah, um, you you're supposed to be like a Lego Lego creator or covering Lego. But I, I mean, you're also part of the Beyond the Brick team. So not sure how they would look at that. I'm not sure. Maybe that's a perk, of being another uh, part of the another recognized channel. Maybe I don't know. But yeah, for now, I'm happy that Beyond the Brick offers me the perks in that way. As being part of the team, uh, per se. Later, Arman, later. Thanks for joining. How is the weather? Oh, dude, like, it's a, it's a heat wave. Like, I'm s right now, I have a full-on fan blowing on my face because it's so hot in this apartment. We don't have AC, and it's, it's, it's a scorched earth outside right now. It's like... One of the hottest days in the year today. It's really hot outside. So, we're scorched. If you get Seth to review what will happen to the Beyond the Brick sets, will Joshua have to build them? Uh, I think like, I, I wanna stay, I wanna keep like a healthy uh, relationship be between all of us. So that way, if I get sets for their channel, like I, I probably make sets for them and content for them first. Um, and then probably if I have uh, something extra I would like to cover, maybe I can request that for my channel. But I think most of the time I do enjoy making content for Beyond the Brick uh, when I can early on. So I think I would focus on that anyway. 
uh, I really want to be part of the Beyond the Brick team and support them as much as I can. So I think for now it's uh, we're at a great point where we um, work together and like it's it's all really really fun and beneficial for both of us. Um, so I wanna kind of keep things that way. So I don't wanna like really like um, make any any sort of conflicts when it comes to content. I th and I think we're in a good position now. The second stream is the next second part of the set. Yes, yes. Next stream will be like continuing this set. So I'm finishing this bag and we're gonna say goodbyes. But I'm gonna be back during the week. Uh, at some time, I don't, I'm not sure when exactly, but I'm gonna be back with this set during the week. So we're gonna keep building. It, it's gonna be built entirely on the stream, like on a few streams that is. Uh, Sarah Bricks O'Brien is, is gaming, uh, is a gaming channel, so he makes Nintendo games. Uh, check it out. Subscribe to Bricks O'Brien, everybody. You should. My hair is so long, now I have to wear a hat. Alex, why do you think I wore hats so many times in the last videos and last streams? Because my hair was terrible. That's why. <laughs> Clonen, welcome. I'm, <laughs> I'm just leaving in a second, but welcome to the chat. You can try a year after your first attempt. Um, oh, so yeah, you, you can try once and then you have to wait. That's true. So I don't want to be too fast with it, you know? How is Beyond the Brick doing right now since conventions have been cancelled? Embrix, they're doing very well. They just passed 700,000 subscribers, so kudos. Brian, actually, Bricks of Brian in the chat, is doing um, uh, gaming streams on Beyond the Brick every Thursday. There is a quarantine stream every, um, every Tuesday and gaming every Thursday. Um, so they, yeah, they're, they're switching their content up. They're doing more streams, like, and... I, I may or may not also work on a new type of content with them uh, that might be appearing um, soon on the channel. So we're trying, uh, you know, we're trying, we're trying. So, you know, they're doing very well. They, they, they just passed 700,000 mark, um, even though the conventions are cancelled and everything. Uh, we still have content, we have content. They have a bunch of people like me and Brian and, and Matt Brickwiz and, and Vision Bricks. Uh, and Boone, uh, you know, LEGO Masters Boone, that make great content for them, and they're doing just fine. This is the power of diversification. This is why Beyond the Brick is so successful, because they, they believe in creators, they believe in the power of us, the contributors, and, and we believe in, in their mission to become a, a great LEGO channel, and they're great. And I'm happy that it's working out. And I'm missing a brick. Actually, I have a 1x2, 1x4 that I missed somewhere. Let's see if I can backtrack it. Hold on, I'm just gonna apply this. So, Beyond the Brick is doing just fine. They're doing very, very well. Uh, okay, and this. Ooh, fancy. Okay, so I have a one by four brick that I missed somewhere. I'm just gonna take this mom. Oh, I think I know where. There we go, found it. There we go. Okay, cool guys, so that's bug number four done and that's it for today's stream. Bug number five is basically, um, we're, we're doing the mast work. That's next stream. Okay. So we're gonna take a look what we have so far, just real quick from that detail camera. Okay, so, so far, after four bags, we have the Islanders uh, face from the Islanders. Really good Easter egg. The island, let me just, that's the island. We have too many figures so far, only too many figures. Actually, there is the second guy. I don't know his name, I don't remember his name, but that's, that's I think, Robin Lut. She's named Robin Lut. So the island is, is looking pretty, pretty decent. And we have, you know, we have the parrot and the palm trees as well. We have the little pirate with a rowboat. There we go. And also, so the island looks great so far. We're gonna be adding the ship later. And the ship itself has a ton of things that 
that I think are great. The, the full-on pantry inside and the captain's quarters and the, the sleeping area. Um, a lot of good things so far. Very many, 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 many good things. And I think I need a bigger tripod for this camera for the future stream because this thing is becoming bigger and bigger and bigger by the minute. Okay. Woo, guys, this is... Um, Oh my god, uh, that was, I'm, I'm sweaty, I gotta take a shower, actually. But, this is gonna be it for this stream. Uh, actually, we're like 3 hours and 1 minute, perfect! That is a perfect finish for this stream, it's 5pm in California, almost 5pm. So, like 4.45. Um, Nazdar, widzimy się, ciao ciao! <laughs> Marek, dzięki, thanks. How do you say thank you in Czech or, or Slovakian, I don't remember. Um, yeah, so thanks for everybody to be uh, for being here. Um, Sarah Starbricks, thank you. Um, Brick Star Wars Boy, Bricks O'Brien, thank you, my mods, by the way, for um, fixing. Oh my god, I'm so sweaty. Fixing um, that spam attack. It was crazy. First time it happened. Dr. Greeny, thanks. M Bricks, thank you. Jeff, as, as always, appreciate your, your um, presence. Um, bye, Mike. Great stream, really the one with the highest quality, but it's had. It had its problems like spammers, but it was great anyway. Hey, we had spammers, we had a microphone go off, we had a black camera in the beginning. It's all good, it's, it's a learning process. I set up this setup today in the morning and I started streaming like 2 p.m. So that's how I, I, I learned how to do better things for you guys and I think you guys enjoyed it. Um, I, I, I enjoyed like tweaking things, making things better for my channel, like I think it's really good. And especially for such an iconic set, I think it's a great um, appreciation for you to have a three camera setup with high quality, sharp images throughout the entire stream and 60p, 1080p quality, 3D, LED, Google technology, Dr. Disrespect type of tech. <laughs> right? Alrighty. Auf Wiedersehen. Auf Wiedersehen. Vielen Dank, Vitek. You're like trilingual, like German and Polish. Oh, trilingual, German and Polish. Nice stream, bye guys, thanks Ben. Octobers, thank you. Whoever I did not mention, Luke VJ. Uh, I mentioned a lot of you. Thank you for the donos, by the way. Um, we had Jeff with $3 super chat sticker. Street with a Polish 10 uh, PLN, which is like about $2. And we had Cafe Con Lego with $1.99 sticker. Thank you guys for the support. Enjoy the stream, okay. We're gonna see each other in the next one. I'm gonna schedule my social media. Um, you know, you this one was not scheduled, I'm sorry. Like, I was like, in the morning, basically, my wife told me I can stream today, and I wasn't planning to, and I wanted to, and I, we just, yeah, let's stream for three hours. Cool, cool. So I did that, but next one will be, uh, maybe not tomorrow, but maybe some day of the week. Uh, I'm going to let you know a day, a day, or at least a few hours before, but it's going to be a late one, you know, California time. So the mug, yeah, it's a really nice touch, right? It's a beyond the brick mug with like a little uh, installation of brick separators. So that's a thing. Okay. Thanks guys, um, tune in for more videos from me. Check out MNR's uh, Bricks and Bits podcast that aired today on his channel. We talked about a lot of things in my past and what my current state is and things like that. It's a really interesting podcast. I think I, I did really well on this one. Okay, thanks guys, amazing set. We're gonna be back to this this week. You guys are amazing. Peace out. Wait for it, bye.